Welcome to Numbers on the Board. Numbers on the Board, yes! D. Millie. Oh, they <laughs> sold. It up. They sold. We they were doing it, it so well. Oh, they were doing man. it so well last they time we were here. Yeah. Hey, uh, no, we start the show. <laughs> 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 we gotta do it because you ain't you ain't giving me See, no skin. He not giving me no working. skin. I, you you got to give me skin. You 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 dapping me up. Hold up, you dapping me up. Did you? It had been a few days since okay. we did it. So skin me. No, you see how you grabbing? Don't okay. grab. Just skin me. Skin okay. me. Skin me. Just skin me, bro. Bop, bop. Ah, yeah. Now, they <laughs> barely can get one. LeBron got like 150,000. That's that's glazed. I- <laughs> LeBron had not, The Lakers and LeBron had nothing to do with this. That's glazed. What's y'all handshake? We don't got a well, handshake. Well, I know what it is, but can't do it on here. I would here. never handshake. Y'all, do y'all have a handshake with y'all girlfriend? No. No, no. I just I kind of just y'all my ha- wife. Y'all have a handshake, though. No, we don't. Yes, I do. It's you, see, you see his hands? I'm not shaking. I'm not shaking his it's hands. It's a hand shake. Okay. His hands all ashy. <laughs> One more time, man. Skin, skin, fan. You see that? He, he so, the, forget it. You see that? Oh. Come back next episode. They'll get it right. God, when, when you do this, yeah. you doing this. You. I'm in. One more time for the road. There we go. That's that's like, like a, a real apple bite. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And before we get into the episode, I want to remind everybody to leave a like and subscribe. We, we've appreciated all the support through the first couple episodes and numbers on the board. Obviously, a, a big transition. Uh, we're trying to get our subscribers back up, man. So be sure to leave a like, subscribe, go over to the audio platforms and download the episodes on Spotify, on Apple. We are still towards the top of the charts when it comes to basketball podcasts, and we appreciate that. But we're going to go higher and higher and higher. How many subs are currently I want to go higher. Uh, I think we just broke 40K like two days ago. I haven't yeah. checked since then. I think so. we get 100,000. We 100, they get an after show. That's a lot to ask for, if I'm being honest with you. Hey. Uh, that, we're, we're isn't that impossible, 41K, though? 41K. It's not impossible. Not this, it's definitely impossible. achievable. Our last channel just said 300K. We know what we can do. We just trying to get back to you that. You know, thing. I be watching YouTube sometimes, especially I have my, my regulars that I watch. And sometimes I look down and I don't even realize that I'm not subscribed sometimes. Oh, you one of those. I You're do. part of the problem. You also don't leave a like when you enjoy. If I watch a full video. I would like it. I like the video. Yeah. I usually like it at the beginning when I Me first too. click on Me the video. It's one of your favorite creators. Yeah. You know I'm you don't like it. it. Yeah. yeah, if it's somebody I rock with. See, Bad yeah. viewer here. I am. He I got am. ad block too, I bet. No, you I, have YouTube, I have YouTube Premium. Okay, word. Shout out to you. Yeah, I just but <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm bad because in my like videos is like. It's Booty just shaking 3,000? No, nah, it's oh. actually just bun- like a bunch of beats. So I keep my likes like just music. Now he's just an artist. He dropped one album and he's an artist. Yeah. All he care about is beats. Did that album go platinum? It did Multiple triple plastic. Double platinum. It went triple double platinum, platinum and KB Ka. I did listen to it a bunch when it dropped. It's a good album. Yeah, I'll be listening to it while I do that handshake. What's your, what's your top stream <laughs> song, by the way? Uh, the song with me and you. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Oh, so you that much of a draw. Numbers. It numbers. would have been D Mills if he hopped on, but he was scared. He was scared. True. Hey, he crispy. Like, like McDonald's, McDonald's fries. fries. Like McDonald's fries, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we had breaking news this morning, y'all. Yes, we Woke did. up. And phone started buzzing. Terry Rozier is a part of the Miami Heat, something we talked about last episode. I mean, there, this was everybody in NBA fandom or that, that listened to a bunch of podcasts with sources. Everybody knew this trade was happening yeah. for the last week and a half. We just didn't know exactly what type of assets were being put in it. So what we know now, the Charlotte Hornets are trading Terry Rozier to the Miami Heat for a 2027 first-round pick in Kyle Lowry. Um, there are protections on the first-round pick. It is lottery protected in 2027, and if it does not convey, then it is unprotected in 2028. It says the Charlotte Hornets are not prepared to buy out Kyle Lowry, but instead would try to flip him to another team for future assets. And the last thing is that they are not done, that they're trying to get more future assets, which means that Gordon Hayward might be on the move. Yep. I, I don't know, big don't, contract. Maybe he's no, bought absolutely out. Absolutely no sense. Um, but they're hitting another reset to a reset. I, I don't know exactly what's happening. But Terry Rozier, Miami Heat. They're yeah. doing the right thing over there in Charlotte. We'll get to the Heat, obviously. But I, when I look at this team and I watch them, LaMelo Ball is a special talent. I think we've talked about that a lot during the season. And I think Brandon Miller, for whatever reason, um, doesn't get the love I think he should get, but he's been having a really, The last really three games, he's averaging 24 points per game, six rebounds, two assists, 60% from the field, 43% from three, 92% from the free throw line. He and yesterday, he helped spoil the 62-point yes, game. That was a big shot that that young man hit. You know what's, You know probably why he don't get a lot of love? Why? It's because everybody was so thirsty to call them idiots because they didn't take Scoop. And now Brandon Miller is playing better than Scoop. Way better. Out of the gate. Out of the gate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Scoop still has time. And I don't think people really want to speak up because, but come on, man. Get them boys they credit. And they, if they um, can get Mark Williams back at some point and he can play 
on the broadcast from the Minnesota Timberwolves perspective from last night's game, they mentioned it like two to three times in that second half. They're like, um, Charlotte fans were booing when this kid got drafted. And look at him now because he did hit that real big shot down the stretch. Um, and that, that was a fact. I mean, a lot of people saw Scoot as the second best prospect in the draft. Um, but they obviously. already had a point guard. That's why I don't That's exactly. why I understand like Charlotte fans. But why mm-hmm. would you draft a point guard when you have LaMelo? You, so now, you, you, now, you, now, you, now you just have two point guards. You might be able to trade him for DeMontis Sabonis. Now you just you just talk. <laughs> that's that's what the Sacramento Kings did. They drafted a point guard or a third point guard after already having two, and then they traded him. So anyway, yeah. uh, how, how y'all feel about trade though? Uh, I'm happy for the Miami Heat, um, just because their team that sometimes you know could typically struggle with scoring. They went out and got a nice little bucket coming off the bench. Coming accomplish. off the bench? Yeah, I think he's gonna come off the bench. Who's that's, their starting point guard? Uh, I think it's still gonna be Tyler Hero. Uh, in my opinion, I think you should still stay with your core group of guys that's already been there, at least on a jump. At least I don't want Terry Rozier and Tyler kind of playing together. I think mm-hmm. they kind of, they kind of like damn near the same <laughs> player. They kind of do the same shit. You did so they like, overlap? Yeah, I, I kind of want Terry Rozier coming off my bench and being that punch, giving me that energy off the bench. I think that would be more fitting for me. And uh, Charlotte's just stacking up these chips now. They got a first round pick. Um, Cal Lowry, I don't think is a guy that they'll be able to flip for more assets. Um, I think that he's going to be a guy that they're probably going to end up having to buy out. Uh, just, just in my point of view, because I don't really, I don't know many teams that would give you anything really of value for Cal Lowry right now. Mm-hmm. He's thirty-seven. He's making thirty million dollars in. Yeah, it's going to be hard. I, to, yeah, it's I not like he's having a good year. Yeah, yeah I have to match that, that thirty million. That means I have to give you multiple players. Mm-hmm. So like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I agree with you with the Kyle Lowry stuff. We'll see what happens with that. But the first thing I saw when I seen the trade is that. What P said is like Lamelo and Brandon Miller. They finally they're gonna get the reps and like they're they're finally moving on. So I was happy to see that. See what else they do for the Heat. I agree with D Mills as well. Is this, I I don't think Tyler here on Terry Rozier try to share the like. I think Eric Spoelstra is kind of smart enough to is like they're probably not sharing the floor for thirty plus minutes or whatever it is because that's just you're you're putting your defense in a bad in a bad position with that. But I like it though because you do get that offensive boost. And Terry Rozier has been killing the season, you yeah. know, for twenty million dollars. Yeah, um, Terry Rozier so far on the season, uh, shooting twenty nine percent on catch and shoot opportunities. Um, Tyler Hero shooting forty four percent on catch and shoot opportunities for what that's worth. Um, so I'm sure they'll close a bunch of games with them mm-hmm. on the same court. But I think it is important to divvy up their minutes, just because I mean, if Tyler Hero's not on the court, in a lot of cases, the shot creation is pretty trash for the yeah, Miami Heat. I mean, you look at their offensive production for the last 10 games, they're one of the worst in basketball. And Terry Rozier has been as consistent as anybody um, so far for Charlotte where they've went through a lot of injuries and stuff. You know how he always bringing up the Lakers? Mm-hmm. Your, your dude don't want no smoke with Tyler Hero. Who? Austin Reeves? Don't want, <laughs> don't want no issues. Not this year. Don't know. want no issues. Not last year, not the year before, mm, not the year no after. <laughs> Bring up the Lakers then. <laughs> We're but not any, talking about the Lakers but anyway, right now. We weren't talking about them in the intro, but you somehow, LeBron had to do his hand That's dad, just LeBron, because he got a million handshakes. Um, Who else got a million handshakes? But anyway, I, I like it for the Miami Heat. This is this is one of those moves that I think in the playoffs, we're going to be like, damn, that was a that was. he's going to have some big performances. Oh, I, as a sure. Knicks fan, I was kind of convincing myself that we should go get Terry Rozier. Obviously, I like Malcolm Brogdon and whatnot, but when I started to see all of the names, Burks, Clarkson, um, Brogdon, and everybody that the Knicks were linked to, I'm like, man, I think Terry Rozier kind of is the one that him and Brogdon make the most sense. I just can't see Jordan Clarkson playing for Thibodeau or whatever. But, you don't um, want him to be the, y'all knew J.I. Smith? That's what I thought Rozier was going to be. <laughs> um, but, no, yeah, I, I think the Miami Heat made a good low, low risk, high reward move. Kyle Lowry, I, I really agree. For them to think that they're going to flip him with that $30 million contract, um, 30-something million dollar mm-hmm. contract, is a little wild. Same thing with the Gordon Hayward thing. I, when they say they're not done, I'm really curious as to see what's next. What else? Because yeah. it's really just Brandon Miller. It's Lamelo. It's Mark Williams. Those players shouldn't be on the move for nothing. Yeah, what are you going to do, trade P.J. Washington? P.J. Washington, yeah, P.J. So Washington is available. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> are you reporting that? Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he do got the earpiece in. Yeah, like he I'm just hearing got it right in. now that P.J. Washington <laughs> is available. No, P.J. Watts is probably a guy that, because his contract's not too crazy. I remember when he signed it this offseason, we were like, dang, that's all P.J. Watts right, worth? Yeah. So I'm sure some teams will be calling for him. Is he worth the first-round pick, too? I don't know. Um, a lottery protected pick for the Heat is probably going to convey because the Heat are a team that make the playoffs every season. Yep. Uh, so t- trading Terry Rozier for the 17th overall pick in a future draft, not too bad. So now we're looking at Hero. Um, what you got? Uh, Kayla Martin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jimmy Butler, Bam out of bio, mm-hmm. 
and with Duncan, Duncan Robinson, Robinson, you have Terry Rozier. Who am I forgetting on the Heat? Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting. Kevin Love has been having a good season Kevin so Love. far. Uh, Hayward yeah. Highsmith is in that rotation right now. And it's, I feel like I forget. Oh, Hami Hakez. Hami Hakez. Oh, yeah. Hami. So, yeah, when the, play, when the playoffs start, this team is going to have a little bit um, extra depth. So, I, yeah, I, I like this for the Miami Heat, man. I like. I, do y'all think they have another move in them? Uh, I think that was it. The, yeah. From all the other reporting, is that, like, Duncan Robbins is not necessarily available, and he's the only person with a contract big enough to probably get you something that you care about. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't really think so. I think this is their move. Like, there are reports that they weren't interested in DeJounte because his contract was too big, and then yes. they went out to get Terry. I, I Because it happened just, like, an hour before we started recording, I haven't had a chance to, like, look into what this means about future trades because, obviously, they're always trying to swing for the next superstar. Uh, giving up a 2027 20, first round pick, I don't know what that means for if a Donovan Mitchell finally becomes available or this player finally becomes available. But maybe that's just something that's not in their mind anymore because we've been to the finals or conference finals three of the last four years and we have been able to put it together completely. Let's just go get talent that can help right now. Yeah, it shouldn't be on their mind. It yeah, really should. Donovan Mitchell is playing MVP basketball. We'll get to him. Yeah, no, I think they definitely should just stay pat. Wait, if there's another big star that becomes available, then yeah, you, you, you don't want to regret trading those first round picks for DeJounte when now the star is available now you ain't really got many assets to do it. Is Terry Rozier Tyler Hero assurance in case, in case that big player does become available? I hope not. I hope not. I mean, it could I mean, be. Yeah, because now you can package Tyler Hero, Hame. Uh, you might you might want to trade Jimmy before you trade Hame in Miami, <laughs> boy. Y'all saw them, them old videos of him hooping before he had yeah, the hair. He had hair. That was so <laughs> weird. The dunk contest. Bro. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> he, I think he's going to be in the dunk contest this year. Yeah, he yeah, rumored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, mm -hmm. that, that's going to be exciting. I think that's going to be very exciting. I'm just happy we got another trade happening. Yeah. We, this, it's so close to the deadline. We feel like, feel like we don't know oh, nothing. We're about to get a lot more. We're about yeah. to get Does a lot more. Does this trade make you feel more, I guess, confident in them? To me, before even the trade, I felt like you just don't want to match up with the Heat with Jimmy Butler and Bam still, like, healthy. Mm -hmm. But now, even like, could you see them getting to like a second round without like a surprise? Hey, it's the Miami Heat. Yeah, no, second round. True. I don't think the second. It's yeah, they, true. They, 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 their expectations. Jimmy said last year, we're gonna get back here and we're winning it all. Like mm -hmm. that's the that's the culture that they have over there. He's just trying to get clips for a future documentary. That's literally what Jimmy hey, Butler's well, doing. The year before that, he said we was gonna make it to the finals. He made it to the finals. It's a clip. Yeah, the, the, he got it. He got, <laughs> he got it. his clip. Now he got to just make it there and win it. And yeah. he got both clips. Yeah, he got them all. <laughs> Y'all hear about his country music album? Yeah, yes. that didn't he say he had over a hundred songs? Yeah, it was, it was. I think it was over sixty. Um, but he's not even on any of them. He said he wants to be the DJ Khaled of country oh, music. What? I thought he. I was ex I was excited to hear him sing. Me song. too. That's why I clicked the article. I, did, I didn't read. I the was too. I heard, I've heard his voice. Oh, before. Jimmy Butler this in a song. You said, who would eat this? Yeah. It's country. Do country music, do they be having beef in country? They probably they oh, definitely don't. I don't, I don't, I don't think They probably so. be dissing like their ex-girlfriend's like boyfriend. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. But that's not a real person. That's I'm a imaginary. Ford guy, so I'm a diss whatever the other uh, truck company is. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's me and my Ford, and I was riding with my boy, and I <laughs> see him in the Honda. Accord. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was, that was decent. I'm riding in my Ford, and I see him riding. Why your flow always so choppy? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you want to know Mike album. Oh, uh, right. We got uh, rumor mills. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, we got to drop, drop the, the mic. mic. I'm sorry. Uh, dro drop the mic. I, I'm uh, so yeah. anti mic right now that uh, drop the mic, though. Anti Mike is funny though. Because he brought up the Lakers. <laughs> Today's drop the mic. I'm dropping the mic. You said that was me and Mike. Like that. Yeah. Which team remains the best if everybody drops their two top players? <laughs> um, If <laughs> everybody two? dropped their two top players, it's probably the Celtics. They still have oh. Drew Holiday, Porzingis, and stuff. True. I mean, when you think about it, every team that starts the top, they drop their top two players, are going to be bad. Literally. Mm -hmm. Like, if OKC drops. Shay and is it Chet? Chet? Is it J Dub? Oh, uh, rega regardless, whatever yeah. combination, they're gonna be bad. If the Minnesota Timberwolves draw Anthony Edwards and Carlton Towns, it's a Rudy Gobert show. It, that's bad. Mike Conley got Jada McDaniel. You know who might be the best team? Who? The Bulls. Kobe they are right. Right. Kobe <laughs> <Martin. laughs> <laughs> That might be a oh, definite yeah. answer. Oh, shout out Sub Zero, man. He he froze uh, Kevin Durant on a little hezzy yesterday, and then Kevin Durant froze them uh, at the end of the game. But <laughs> yeah, I think it's it, could it be like a real a bad team? The Pelicans. 
Zion and B.I. dropped them. So it's like Trey Murphy the third and C.J. McCollum mm-hmm. show. C.J. Herb Jones. Because they Trey all they got the best depth in the league. Yeah, so it kind of makes sense. It would have to sense. be a really deep team. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. Because, yeah, maybe the Celtics Dallas, is not the right answer. Ja- if Dallas dropped Luke and Kyrie, they it's, could. Bro, it's, they, they, it's, they, they it's, Tim Hardaway Jr. <laughs> going crazy. He dropping 40 yeah. a night. It'll He's going to have to. 40 the pa- shots the tonight Pacer, for sure. The Pacers? Halliburton and Turner. You got Nimhard. I forgot Pascal's on the team, though. Oh, yeah. So you keep Miles Turner. Benedict Matherin, Aaron Neesmith. It's basically the same no, team Obi after Tyrese got injured last year <laughs> yeah. when it was awful. So maybe, ah. Uh-huh. Um, Could it be a team that's not good right now? It has to be. Because I feel like the, oh, cause the top. We need some idiots. The Clippers? Oh, still still they still have James Harden. And he'll just yeah. play his Houston Rocket ball. Oh. You got P.J. Tucker. <laughs> P.J. Tucker finally get hoop again. <laughs> Zubac. Daniel Tice. Uh, Norman Powell, love man. Norman, Norman Powell. Powell's back. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. hate that at all. Yeah. James Harden yeah. will be going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That it might be the Clippers for sure. You still got Russell Westbrook off that bench. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> you convincing me, Mills. So <laughs> yeah. It might be the right one. Amir Coffee. <laughs> what team is the worst team if you take the top two players? The Portland Trailblazers, the Wizards. Oh, oh, yeah. other, uh, let's say playoff teams. How about playoff teams? You, Mavericks is definitely up oh, there. Oh, the for Mavericks. One of those. Yeah, the Mavericks. Lakers will be up there too. I said playoff teams. True, you did. <laughs> they mm. hopeful. They're a hopeful playoff team. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, true, true. true. Um, the Suns. The, but the Lakers. The, yeah, the Lakers are <sighs> without AD no Tyrese Maxey, no Joel Embiid. Yes. Oh my God. Right. Oh, it's <laughs> the Tobias, Tobias Harris, Harris show. Tobias Harris show. Yeah. Kyron, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that like? That's DeAnthony Melvin. Oh yep. no, the Bucks. Yes. Drop Damon yes. Giannis? <laughs> yes. You got the Cameron Malik Payne, Beasley. Malik Beasley show? Ooh, Bobby don't Portis forget about Cash Money, Chris, who's been playing yeah. a lot better oh recently. Oh, my gosh. I, I'm Lopez. going with the Bucks. You saw the Brooke Lopez clip where he was cursing out the refs. Oh, after yeah. the game, F- right? F- After the game, right? Like, I, was like, I was watching it. Like, Brooke, like, the game is over. What are you doing? <laughs> they can't take They can't give no tech, no. Yeah. Well, they can't he definitely get a fine, though. He's probably going to get a fine. He can take the fan. The game. I wish you saw it. The game was so over. I'm talking about literally their mm. KB and D Mills are saying, yo, good game, bro, like that. And he's just, I'm like, oh, this dude is a kid. Don't want to get on that man bad side. Yeah, no. Nah. You know, he got the he got licks it. and the switches. Don't <laughs> mess with Brick Lopez, that man. That boy got more switches than in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> right, let us know in the comment section what team is the best if they got rid of the best two players or what team is the worst when they get rid of the best two players. That's a good one, Mike. Appreciate that. You be, you, cooking up, you be cooking up over there sometimes. He got seven days to think about it. He better cook up something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we bring it back in an old segment that we have not done yet. I still believe for the offseason. I, spo- on the board. I spoiled it. Yeah, you did spoil you it did. a little bit. Austin, give us a rumor mill. We had just wrapped up numbers on the board. A few minutes later, Adrian Griffin gets fired. By the Milwaukee Bucks. Live reaction. How we feel? Where would we be without cell phones? <laughs> right. We had to wait to go home. <laughs> we would have went home and saw it on the no, bottom we No, we would have gotten in our car and turned on the radio. Yeah, yeah. ESPN 1000. <laughs> but here we fire. go, man. Wow. Um, 13. I mean, 30 and 13 season. It I just lo- feels so early. I love it, though. The timing is just I love the it. The timing, yeah. I yeah. love it because it means that they have they they know they know them they're self aware the organization is self aware maybe Giannis' Dame is self aware as well do y'all think they had to have gone into the office and said something you think it was a nudge or a push uh, I don't know because they didn't tell Giannis about the Damian Lillard trade just because he didn't say no and Giannis potentially probably fought for Adrian Griffin to be there so they probably didn't want him to say no not about potentially that, that was the number one determinant factor for Adrian Griffin a lot of things have happened in Adrian Griffin's tenure as a Milwaukee Bucks coach a couple days before the season started Terry uh Terry Stotts was like I'm out of here yo boy stuff yes. is not right uh I, I guess there they had one confrontation before a preseason game and that was enough for Terry Stotts to walk away and Terry Stotts was the the owner of like the offensive system and stuff like that he must have thought he knew everything and Terry was like listen <laughs> yeah your first year coach um, something else happened. About seven, eight games to the season, they were playing a specific defensive coverage, and Brooke Lopez and Giannis and them said, hey, Adrian, we respect you, but the way we used to defend is one of the reasons why we won championships. Okay, cool. Damian Lillard went to Adrian Griffin and said, hell, I don't like the way your rotations are. I want to play the entire first quarter. And Adrian Griffin, to his credit, he said, you got it. Yep. You got it. But we don't know about the stuff that he may have said no to. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We only know the adjustments, and maybe that was one of the reasons. I think the timing of it is just a crazy part. It is. Mm-hmm. Uh, before the All-Star break. But th- is that why it's good timing? I think they I think <laughs> You're going probably, to the All-Star yeah. break. It gives you a little bit of time. You know what I mean? It's just like. I just It's just crazy that that means that they, they didn't see a world where he would progressively get better. 
They but said even, what he's doing right now is just not gonna cut it, and we think Doc Rivers <laughs> is the one. I think that the timeline matters too. Like, even though it's their first year, it's just like you don't really want to waste no time and have no early disappointment. But with I team. asked y'all that at the beginning of the year. I said, are they championship or bust? Mm-hmm. And y'all said, nah, they not championship or bust. They got to obviously do something. They think that they are championship or bust. Yeah. yeah, which is why I like this move because I agree. I think they were a little bit of championship or bust. I understood what y'all were saying, but there was definitely a bar that I was looking for them to hit, and throughout this half of a season, they definitely did not hit it. Even like, but, not, mean, not at all. They're not a, a favorite handful of to games, me. though, I could tell early on that Adrian Griffin probably wasn't the right coach to get them, like, to that to, to that pinnacle. Mm-hmm. It's a lot know? to handle as a first-time head coach, really man. Is. You managing – personalities you got dame coming into a situation that was new for him that was a lot to put on his plate do y'all think they regretting not having coach bud maybe if you have coach bud it's uh it's at least like familiar familiar you know, fam- yeah. familiar territory for them for sure yeah this is a lot of new shit going on with a new fresh coach mm-hmm. that is kind of you know i'm not trying to throw adrian griffin under the bus but i just know Number one, inheriting a team that is looking for championships is already a lot. As you know, as a Laker fan, it's already a lot of pressure. But then that championship team then goes and makes a big, yeah. a big yeah. cultural change. And then you got to adjust with that. That's a lot, bro. That's mm-hmm. a lot. That's yeah. a lot. Even though the defensive personnel isn't great, the fact that they are as bad as they are defensively has to be schematic at some point. Yeah, too. that's always be. been my biggest yeah. issue. That's always been my biggest issue, and it's not even from a you know the stats say a lot and all of that as well too. Um, Sorry, we're trying to check to see if there's yeah. more updates and stuff. But um, just watching certain Bucks games, you know, and there's always games I always go back to, like the Spurs one was something that I really was just like, well, even the Cav game a little bit after that when the Cavs really, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just like. Mm-hmm. Man, and some of the games where Giannis don't like, they played a game where Giannis didn't play. Was that against the Pistons? That, that was the Cavs game. The Cavs. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. the Cavs game. And then they had a game not so long ago against the Pistons. That the last I was just two like, games against the Pistons. The Pistons are in that game yes. with four minutes and left. I, I get it. I get it. It is the NBA. They're all professionals. Anything can happen on any given night. But I just look at the Bucks as like a team. There are certain teams where it's just like, man, we got to come out and take the care Celtics. Of don't play with they food. Yes, the Celtics do not play with they food. They can be beat on any given night. But there are certain games I'm not even watching that shit it's supposed because be they're cer- handling business. It's supposed to be certain traits within a championship yes. team that's just like expectations. Yeah, because yes. if you're struggling with the Pistons, how am I supposed to trust you in the conference finals against the Celtics? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I, there's a certain expectation that you're not hitting at that point. Yeah, it's uh, now we know that Doc Rivers is at the top of the list as top far as list. people. Right now it's Joe Prudy t- until they figure it out. How do we feel about Doc Rivers coming back to the association potentially? Well, f- to, before we dive into Doc Rivers – the, was it Chris Haynes or was it Woj or Chris Haynes? One of them said, I think it was Woj. They're looking for a decorated, what mm. was the term that they used? Let me it was, it out. I, I know, no, you're talking about like their. Um, the type of coach. They're looking yeah. for a coach that has won before. They're basically. like proven and yes. like accomplished. It might have been accomplished. like accomplished. They're looking for accomplished coaches. And my first reaction was accomplished and available veteran head coaches. Hey, Woj. accomplished coaches? Usually have jobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> if there is if if they are as as accomplished as you are looking for, they probably wouldn't be on the market. But you do have Doc Rivers out there. Mike, what you thinking about Doc Rivers as the Bucks head coach? You next thought that coach. was about to be your next head coach, low key. <laughs> we hey, Darvin Ham <laughs> still got his hands in his pocket, so we gonna wait. Yeah. Um, I feel good about Doc Rivers. Like I said, they they're a team that already has the expectations, and you already mentioned it earlier. That's a lot to put on a rookie coach. Or someone that's really starting to like get his foot in the door, I think it's it's easier to manage when you do have that experience already and you've been to the playoffs and like you've had championship teams under your belt. I think it's a little bit more you could work with. They're falling with Doc Rivers. He's gonna be objectively a better guy than Adrian yeah. Griffin as far as mm-hmm. coaching right now. Adrian Griffin, again, first year coach. But Doc Rivers puts them in a familiar territory than when they were with B- Coach Budenholzer. One of the main reasons why fandom didn't like Bud is that adjustments. he didn't make a ton of adjustments. Mm-hmm. Game the game, playoff to playoff series, he didn't make a lot of adjustments. And Doc Rivers falls into that as well. And that's how he gets to the point where he has the most 3-1 blown leads in any coach in NBA history. So 
it's it's definitely going to be an upgrade on a day-to-day basis but as far as like putting you over the top in the adjustments that you might need to win a championship i don't know if that coach is out there right now in mm-hmm. in january yeah that's something that doc rivers has always struggled with is getting yeah. over the hump yeah his teams haven't gotten over the hump except for once so i don't i don't really know if this is going to be and the with coach the, like, changes everything i i don't do how many how do you change their defense I mean, you don't change the personnel. Yeah, you, you can't change the you, personnel. You literally, yeah. can. You, you literally can. So it's like they're going to have to try to find some type of way to have some guy who could be a le- valuable as like a point of attack stopper because you need that when it gets to the playoffs. I'm know? sure Bucks fans are super happy about this. Mm-hmm. The Bucks fans I know have not enjoyed Adrian Griffin as a coach. Um, no, no matter if uh, me putting myself in the fan, in the shoes of a Bucks fan, this makes me so happy because there is an expectation that the organization is looking for because like y'all have said this is very this is fast this is fast this is but they're saying in 41 games this is not it we are looking for that we're tr- we're going for it. and I, yeah. I think as a fan that's all you can pretty much ask for you're never gonna have everything perfect you know what i'm saying but like to say this is a huge statement to me yeah it's a huge statement to me available coaches terry stotts mm-hmm. nate mcmillan why you would know something crazy? I'm sorry to cut you off. No, go ahead. Um, hey, I use this. <laughs> I don't mean to cut you off. I love to be cut off. Um, it's some valuable shit. In 2016, David Black got fired. Do y'all remember that? Yes. He was 30 and 11. Adrian Griffin is 30 and 13. So it's eerily similar. Obviously, Braun was on that team. Giannis is on this team. And that 2016 finals run was with new coach. Was Ty Lue on that bench, though? He might have been. They might have. Yeah, they probably didn't pluck him off yeah. the street. He might have been already there. <laughs> um but we, I'm just saying there is a reference that say, like, firing a coach at this time, even if you're really good, has had some success in the past, in the recent past. Now, again, LeBron is Dave on that team. Um, Go get Dave Fisdale. Where is he? He's coaching somewhere, yeah, he's right? he's an assistant coach. <laughs> yeah. And I, so let's say, okay, you're the, you're the general manager of the Houston Rockets. Are you allowing your assistant GM to interview for this job right now? No. Because as his employer, you can say, like, assistant no. Assistant GM? Who's the assistant, assistant coach? GM? Assistant Rockets. coach, I'm sorry. Oh, Let's right. just say, like, there's a coach on a random bench right now that they really, really want. Do you? How, how do you feel as a general manager? I'm, let, I'm letting my I'm letting my guy go interview for that job. Yeah, especially because I'm not gonna hinder my employees from. Getting but what if you want him to be your next head coach? I have email Udoka. You said oh, the Rockets. I'm just saying. Oh. This is, I just picked a random. <laughs> if I want, to be my, if I want like, to be my next head coach, I need to make him my. The head, first thing is like coach. I don't want him no distraction. He worried about what he gonna do with the Celtics next year instead of what he's focused on here. And then second of all, just like no, why would he be distracted? Well, he's gonna because he, he's, he's not leaving. he's leaving the buck. The job the buck. is available right now. Oh right. yeah, the dude they promoted is just an interim, so yeah. he's gonna be pushed down. And just somebody either way, I, I would say no to it. Yeah, I'm I would say, be I'm like, a, nah. I'm gonna say yeah. Gonna say if yeah. I want him to be my head coach, why am I not making him my head coach? I don't know. Yeah, that that that's just that's silly. This is a once in a life. How many times would a dude or an assistant coach? See, be able to just jump and coach Damian Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo for a chance to win a championship. If he can go get that job, I'm not holding him. He's gonna be really good or really bad. That's cheat. That, yeah. that, that's just cheating the game. That's yeah, just less I'm, lame. Ultimately, I'm, it's his decision. If yes. he wants to take it, I'm not gonna stop him from having that decision. Now, if he he's my take- head coach. Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> he in that seat. He may you ain't going nowhere unless you want to resign and then hurry up to be a snake. I'm just trying to think about the president for something like. I mean, we don't get this ha- to happen often. Yeah. Um. And I'm trying to. I don't know if there's been a time where an assistant coach has jumped to a different team mid-season. Like, obviously, we see it a lot in, in the off-season stuff. Yeah. Uh. But maybe I'm overthinking it. And and, and especially if somebody. I'm the if I'm the Rockets, I'm not the Celtics. I'm not the, the 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 Timberwolves. I'm yeah. the I'm the Rockets. Man, go go coach the Bucks and win you a championship. Maybe. I don't know. It seemed like they fired people pretty easily. So over who there. they gonna get? Steven Silas. Off the Rockets. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Steven no, Silas Steven's, in Detroit right now? Yes, yeah, Detroit, I meant. Yeah, Detroit, he's I meant. a Detroit. He coached the Rockets. Yeah, yeah, he's in Detroit. Where is my boy Fizdale? I just seen Fizdale like, he is a few days ago. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Let either. me see. Well, David. Like Kenny Atkinson. Where is Kenny Atkinson? I think he's on uh, is he with the Warriors. Warriors? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He turned down he the Hornets. He turned down the Hornets job, yep. yeah. But he probably wouldn't turn down his Bucks job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point, good point. So, I don't know. He's like a he's a young young guy coach. Oh, he likes to coach up. He's yeah. like a good, let's start a culture type coach. Yeah, he did it with Brooklyn. So. They need somebody for results. Oh, Fisdale's with the Suns. Frank Vogel oh, okay. with the Suns. Yeah. Or, or, um, any, any close remarks about Adrian Griffin? And co- <laughs> um, <laughs> Take that for data. Um, Just happy the Bucks went in there and they, so, they yeah, so, so you're a Bucks fan. I forgot. He's a Bucks fan. I'm just happy they didn't wait. 
Okay. There's no need to ride it out if you don't feel like this is. But was this a part like a Bucks it, fan? Are you a Bucks fan? But no. You're a Damian Lillard fan. But I'm a Bucks fan. No, you're now. not. Who was number three? Like the jersey number? Yes. Who oh. was number three? Isn't it um, AJ? No. Adrian Jackson? No. Andre Jackson? No. He's 44. He's oh, way older. No. He is number three is. I don't know. Yeah, more John Bochan. Yeah. Uh, I want to know. I'm still counting him <laughs> as all right. He's not no is more John Bochan black, numbers. white, or mixed? He's mixed. Oh, okay. I don't know if he's mixed. I don't know. I, just, <laughs> yeah. I, know, he's, I know he's very He could be guy. mixed the way, the way his skin complexion is set up. Um, so as a, our resident Bucks fan, whether you're a Bucks fan or not, this wasn't on your radar, though, right? Were you, were you a guy who was like, man, they need to replace Adrian Griffin? It was a question mark just because of the defense. Um, it's just so bad for a team to be, like, competing for a championship that even if you don't have the personnel, it's kind of like, why is the Pistons playing with you? Why is the Wizards putting up 138 points against you? Why, like... Those those type of games make me question the coaching. I've mm-hmm. never seen you act like this before. That's, that's just me personally. You and your bag. From, from everybody's perspective, does it change their championship odds, in your opinion? Depend, now that if they get Doc let's, say, Rivers, let's say it is Doc. It go up for me. Okay. I got to see what also it, I, I got to see what Doc Rivers me. does. It, it go up for me. It, it go <laughs> no, up. They don't I'm, go high enough to it's like they're the favorite. I'm joking. Because of a coach change. I'm with Derek. I have to see the product. Right. Yeah. But, you know. Because I'm very interested to see what Doc does with this team. This is. Like, so my question to y'all is, does Doc come in with his news? Not that y'all have experience coaching the NBA. Is he keeping the staff? Do he come in and bring his own staff? This is this is like. Yeah. I don't think everybody gets canned on, in January. He pick up that phone. Listen, he assembling the, the uh, Avengers. <laughs> Sam Maybe Cassell, though, I, I need like, you. I feel like aren't head coaches, don't they typically wait a little bit? At least, at least in the offseason, right? You would, I, I, would think, think, I think they would wait. I, I think, think it's he's too much wait. of a turnaround to yeah. get rid of everybody on today. But I think knows? he would come with somebody. He got to have some familiarity his, with his, his own staff. That's yeah. his staff. So it's like, you know. And Who's he loved, on his staff that y'all know of? He, he's had some haters. He's had Tyron Lue, I believe. I think Chauncey may have been on his staff. Call both of them up. They might want to be Cassell. assistants again. <laughs> Tom Thibodeau Tom came from his staff that dance when um, he was in Boston. <laughs> yep. Tom Thibodeau was the architect He orchestrated the defense that got them the championship. He needs his Tom Thibodeau. Doc Rivers has had some heavy hitters, man. <laughs> He's had some heavy. I think Dave Yeager was on his bench last year with the 76ers. Um, Dave that, Yeager, that is right. That's right. That's Dave right. Yeager is a guy that should be getting some chances to coach, man. Yeager was a guy that I was so surprised when he got fired. Um, well, okay. Let's get back to our, our, the rest of the episode. Uh, but that was just a, a quick hiccup of the Adrian Griffin fire. We would love to see your face on that one too. You would. The Mills Man in a Week picture. He got to do something shocking. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, so the first one we're gonna get into um, is that the Atlanta Hawks are trying to find a third team right now to dump D'Angelo Russell to in order to complete this trade for Dejounte to go to the Lakers, mm-hmm. and uh, that's kind of the big news. So it seems like right now the trade is kind of done, but they need to get D'Angelo Russell to go somewhere. And if that doesn't happen, then I guess all of a sudden this trade is probably it won't fall through. I don't see how, who won D'Angelo Russell. Not to that's, say it about D'Angelo like that, um, but what's this? Con- what's how many years are on this contract? That is something I forgot. Isn't Two. it? Didn't he sign a three this year, year and next yeah, year? Yeah. I think. Okay. Um, I think he has a. D'Angelo player Russell's option? not a bad basketball player, and he no, didn't sign not. a contract that was too crazy. Was it like a roughly twenty million, give or take? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not a terrible contract for D'Angelo Russell's uh, value, but. Uh, similar to what we said about centers, the point guard position is very similar. Where the teams that don't have a point guard are not trying to win basketball games right now. Uh, the, the Spurs team that need a point guard and D'Angelo Russell's a point guard, but do you get there with them? You, you would be traded like Doug McDermott. That's and, what and I'm saying. Like the Magic yeah. maybe using a point guard. A team for me that I think. I like the Magic because they have um, Gary Harris mm-hmm. and his contract. You can make the money work. For me, a team I think that should be interested is Philly. I know they have Maxi. But coming off the bench, if you can convince D'Lo to come into that being that scoring punch off the bench, being that backup PG for them, I think that would give them some extra shot creation that they don't have besides Joel and Maxie. That way you get another third shot creator that can come in and give you a different look. Do you like him more for them or like – well, Malcolm Brogdon's going to have real suitors. So now you're bidding against the Knicks. You're bidding against – I saw Minnesota Timberwolves yeah. are interested in Malcolm Brogdon. I don't know how many people are really <laughs> interested in D'Angelo Russell, so maybe you're not bidding against anybody. It's like, here, take take uh, Marcus, Marcus Morris. Morris's contract. Yep. We don't even throw you no know, other future assets. Yes. But then again, the 76ers are a team that keep preaching flexibility, flexibility. Yes, for and, this offseason. Yeah, for the That's length of his contract. If you, if you looked at that report that said that, 
the reason the Hawks want to find a third team is because they want flexibility. He has a yeah. player option that'll be worth like eighteen and a half to nineteen million dollars for he's next year. More likely gonna accept. They don't want that. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Yeah, I don't think it's that D'Angelo Russell is a bad player. I just think that the player, the teams who could absorb his contract and give the Hawks an expiring, they want the expiring themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it's like KB said, all the teams that you would point to are bad. The Wizards, do the Wizards want him? Yeah. Tyus not. Jones goes Detroit, somewhere. Tyus Jones Detroit might be Detroit got sixty four million in cap space. Who? Detroit got sixty four million they in do. cap space. But would you rather have D'Angelo Russell oh, or Kelly and Hayes? I was gonna say that's not doing. <laughs> nothing. Oh, I would just rather have. That ain't doing nothing but spending money. I really just have my sixty four million in cap space. Just, just spend it. it. Yeah. And even if I'm not gonna spend it, I'm gonna absorb other bad contracts to get assets uh, attached to it. You know what I mean? Oh, the Dallas Mavericks, they don't want Maxi Kleber three years, eleven million, thirty three million dollars. Come on, you know what I mean? Like. That's what the Piss is going to have to do because I don't yeah. see this free agency class being like last year's where they can give a Fred Van Vliet, you know, $30 million. You're not going to give Kyle Lowry $30 million again to that come be a vet. <laughs> so it's just like I, I don't – that's that's what I'm saying. The, and it's tough because D'Lo is not a bad player at all. He's no, not he's a bad not. player at all. But it's just like – He's actually been playing really well for yeah. us. And he you can been. tell he looked hurt on that bench. Like you could just like see it in his eyes. What was the context of that? Because I saw that clip too. I just kind of assumed that it was like – Man, my days are kind of limited here yeah, in no, LA. That's what, I th that's what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. That's what it seemed like, at least. I didn't even really pay, like, I didn't gather all the information on the context. Um, same thing that happened with, like, uh, a couple of days ago when it was like LeBron had subbed himself off the bench or whatever with Darvin Ham. And then uh, LeBron. Me and Katie just talked about it. <laughs> Y'all did. And then LeBron <laughs> commented out, he's like, nah, I didn't sub myself out. He told me to do, you know, blanket blank. So I. I, I feel like it'd be so much out of context stuff. You just can't take it like at point blank face value. Yeah, look, you know a team that LeBron could really spook those people. They took the post down. They, they <laughs> deleted the post. <laughs> you know who's a team that could actually use them? Yeah. The Brooklyn Nets. They have bring, back. bring them back. He yeah, might he's get going back here. everywhere. They, they have an expiring deal in Spencer Dinwiddie. Mm -hmm. They need a point guard. Did y'all see Spencer Dinwiddie's like quote tweet of that? Yeah. God, no, I didn't see it. No, I'll, the, I'll, I'll find it. With Jordan Poole and Kuzma? It was about the on, him having it. some of the worst shoot. He has like one of the bottom shooting percentages in the league. Y'all ain't say that two years ago. No, is that what he said? No, no. Uh, he I said, seen, "What about true shooting percentage? What about volume? What about um, yeah, quality yeah?" I shots? seen that. I seen that. And under there, somebody who said like Kuzma and Jordan Poole own you, and he's like, "Actually, I'm shooting better than both." <laughs> that was actually funny. Yeah, but, but he, delete, he deleted that one. He did? But the first one, it was just yeah. it showed the screenshot that says Spencer Dinwiddie has the worst field goal percentage in basketball, lower than Max Drews, Jalen Green, Fred Van Vliet, and Shane Sharp. And then he quoted it said, true shooting percentage, question mark, shot quality, question mark, volume, question mark, and then like the drunk emoji. And the funny thing is, he's like 11th worst in the league when it comes to <laughs> a lot of these stats too. So I mean, you might not be dead last, <laughs> but that's not acting like these this context make you like that guy. And... and yeah, I, it's just it's just interesting. He didn't help himself with that tweet as he didn't. much as he thought. He didn't need he did. to do that because the last couple of games he's been playing really good. He's yeah. been he's been shooting well. That's so all. They're trying to get a straight value up. It's gonna be hard. You <laughs> shoot you shoot the worst of basketball for thirty six games. Those last five is not gonna matter too much to general managers across basketball. <laughs> uh, the next one we got the Pelicans are open to moving Herb Jones. That's all BS. One hundred percent BS. You think so? I'm positive of it. What makes you so positive? There's, there's been no, there has been no, I, I read that report and I read the responses to that report. That was speculation, right? That was the guy saying like, hey, they have a bunch of contracts right now. They have a, a couple people coming up that they need to pay and trade Murphy the third and so on. So they're going to have to make a decision. And based on what I am seeing about the team, Herb Jones might be the guy that's the odd man now. And then the, the Pelicans themselves came out and said, that's not a reality. We're not shopping Herb Jones. So, um, so what's going to happen is probably Brandon Ingram next year will get traded. Like I've been trying to predict. Maybe. Maybe. Um, Unless this team goes on a run. Trading Herb Jones would be a mistake if you're the Pelicans. It just would. I yeah. think so, too, because I think Herb Jones is not going to command a lot of money. He did, he already got an extension. Well, it's he, like a four-year extension. All right, How much was it? it? I don't remember what it was, it, but it's, it is cheap, though. It's cheap for his, yeah. for his production, for sure. He gives them exactly what they need. Um, yeah, I, I just don't see it. And I don't, I don't see Trey Murphy getting traded. No, um, you know, ain't no way. So I four think, years, fifty four million dollars. So I think if if they don't that's hit, crazy. If, they, if they don't that's go the on a run, like, somebody's gonna be an odd man crazy. out. They are gonna have an odd man out. It one hundred percent. And it's going to probably it's be Brandon Ingram. Yeah. Uh, next one we got the Raptors are seeking a first round pick and a young player in return for Bruce Brown. I, why? 
the reality is you're gonna, probably going to get one or the other. Right. Yeah. Why? They get can the, seek what they want. Get the young player. Get the young player. Yeah. You got you got, you got, got the three picks because you're not going to get a high-value pick for Bruce Brown. No, because um, you're probably going to trade him to a contender, at least in my opinion. I would yeah. hope so. They're saying the Knicks like him. I the like Lakers, Bruce. The Lakers are a team that's linked to him as well. Do you see what he said about the Knicks? It was the yeah, I said on, he on the heliocentric. Yeah, it, he, it was I've never seen a player basically say, "Come get me." Yeah, that's what exactly. What in this saying. last week alone, we saw Dejounte Murray get asked about his trades. Like, I love Popovich. You know what I'm saying? He like a father figure to me. I would be honored to play for him again. He and also then, went and played in Miami and took a picture of the yeah, band. He, took and a now he probably <laughs> pissed at Terry Rozier. On he the team just now. Dejounte does that if you follow him on Instagram. He just <laughs> plays into what people. He, it's like a game to him. Which I, it, it is, yeah. because it's like, they be so thirsty yeah. to catch anything that he just be doing little shit, yeah. and I fuck, I fuck, I like it. But for the people at home, Bruce Brown um, said that he's a Thibodeau guy, that he, he thought about signing to the to the Knicks before he signed with the Indiana Pacers. He thought he was going to get drafted to Tom Thibodeau when he was a part, uh, when, when Tom Thibodeau was a Minnesota Timberwolves head coach, and he can do everything Tom Thibodeau would ask of him. It's like, damn. Yeah. I've never seen a player legitimately pitch themselves like, while they're on another team. Please. <laughs> and Bruce Brown, I hate to break it. We do like you. We could, you know, he. I, I can't convince Y'all myself. Y'all have Bruce it. Brown's on the roster. Yeah, you already he Josh is, Hart. He is Dante DiVincenzo and Josh Hart yeah. making a baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he, he don't get all of the great qualities of, because he ain't got Dante DiVincenzo shooting, shooting this year. So. But he also doesn't, he doesn't have as much size as Josh Hart to mm -hmm. be able to reap it. So he's kind of like. He's, he's a just, right place, right time type player, which you need those on a big run. But, like, am I giving up Evan Fournier for him? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but you're not giving up Quentin Grimes. They want Quentin Grimes for him is what the Raptors just said. Oh. But we're not doing that. But mm -hmm. also saw that the Knicks want to send him to a Western Conference team. Yeah. Which I don't understand. I do. Why? You don't want to trade somebody and watch them torch you four times a year. But I don't think Quinn Grimes is also, like, that guy. He like, I can understand if they was like, <laughs> we don't want to trade Jalen Brunson to a competitor. You know who's on the West? What's up? You know who's on the West? Yeah. Who? Who? I don't know who they would want that's on the West. Malcolm Brock. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would that would make sense. Yeah. The Blazers definitely. The only thing the is, one. do they think Malcolm Brogdon is worth that type of thing? I, I think the Knicks may think Quentin Grimes is something that other teams and other people around the league might not think of him because he's their own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like I like Quentin Grimes. He's just. I remember in uh, we was at summer league and like nobody could touch Quentin Quinn Grimes on the floor. Yeah, and, and I was that's like, maybe next, next that's year he's gonna come that's in. That's my frustration because I've always yeah. and I don't know if it's him, I don't know if it's Thibodeau, I don't know if it's the offense, but it's just a it's a it's a spot or a level he can get to that he's just not getting to with the Knicks, mm -hmm. and it's because they have him as a stationary shooter. And I am of the belief that there is a little bit more that he can do besides this. Just standing there and waiting. This dude was a prodigy. He was a high school prodigy. He was a McDonald American. He was a Kansas guy. His freshman year ain't go right. He had to transfer back home to Houston. But he's he's much more than just this. So, you know, Thibodeau loved this, though. Cal Corvers yeah. and all. He, he loved this. Breaking news. Oh, shit. Cavaliers Tristan Thompson has been suspend suspended 25 games for violating the league's anti-drug program. What was he doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This, no this Hollywood That's lifestyle be just... Chris, Tristan Thompson is known for so much more than hooping, it seems like. He just does so much shit that it's just like... He, he tested positive for two things that I'm going to have to Google. Uh, <laughs> 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 but they're, they're, it's not like he was out there doing... Okay. So he's a performance enhancing. These, these oh. seem like performing um, type things. What? Um, he said it. Never mind. I, this is not a joking matter. Let me not joke. I'm going to just see what type of, what he was using. Oh, my gosh, bro. I got to get off Promotes Twitter. muscle growth and increases bone density. So it is a performance enhancer. It's Maybe not he's like, tired of getting that injured. Yeah. It's it's for bulking. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. But whatever it is, it's so illegal in the NBA. Like a steroid damage. It's illegal in the NBA, and they ca caught him using it, and it is uh, wraps for 25 games for him. Yeah. So there you have it. He just got his number 13 back, too, because mm -hmm. Rubio re retired, so mm -hmm. he was able to get it back. They on Twitter acting a fool. About, about this? this? About him. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I wonder about, who getting them back up minutes now. They talking about Chloe got a tight. Oh, wow. Um, oh, wow. I, yeah. That's what I said. I, I got to get, yeah. oh, wow. oh, get on Twitter, bro. Oh, wow. I got to get on Twitter, bro. I got to get on Twitter. That's that's ridiculous. <laughs> Stop playing on my unk, man. Yeah. Le, uh, I'm talking about Lamar, by the way. Yeah. Uh, the next one we got. Trisha, like, our age. 
This one actually came don't out today. That. Uh, yeah, that's right. But that's, that's crazy, though, right? What? Don't you think? Yeah, don't you I, think I feel like he's like, like thirty five. Like, like I thought he was he like thirty five, thirty six. He's like thirty one, I think, yeah. around there. Yeah. All right, next one we got the Lakers. I expected to show interest in players like Trey Young and Donovan Mitchell, um, <laughs> guys that are not available. The Breaking <laughs> news: Lakers <laughs> want good players. <laughs> Donovan Mitchell is having. I think near. the Lakers front office have like their fa- like have like a fandom type mind where they kind of want everything, but they don't have anything to go get. Mm-hmm. What they want, yeah. Like it's it's kind of weird with their front office. Yeah, it's it's actually kind of like funny to watch. Where is it. that coming from? Uh, let me let me. It was I don't know how to say his name. Let me just let me get the exact one exact name. It's not Mark Stein, but it's similar spelling. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Spears. <laughs> Mark Stein. It is. Dave Mc, Mc, That's Mc, not even close to Mark. Dave McMenamin. No, no. Because like, his name is like M- 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 C Team or something. M- M- so like yeah. I just thought it was him, but it's not. We've Dave seen M- him M- somewhere. Where did we see him in L.A.? Uh, I don't know. I think he was leaving a Laker game and he was just walking or something. Possible. <laughs> it's similar to Dave Spears. Uh, McMenamin. Yeah. Let's get <laughs> uh, oh, I have nothing to say about I'm that. Gonna say it's, it's, just silly. Yeah, it's actually funny. The word that came to mind was like just entitled. Like every player, we're trying to go get them. What, who, you also who, are trying to trade for Drummond uh, again. Uh, who or what are you interested in? If you had the Lakers mindset, what are you interested in? Not as a, not NBA terms, just in your life. Wait, say that one more time. What are you interested in? What are y'all interested in? If you had the same mindset as as the Lakers and Lakers fandom and Lakers general Rihanna. manager, there we go. Oh, Rolexes. <laughs> there we go. Well, time that's, that's obtainable. Time out. So it is, but I said with a plural. Like, oh, okay. You know, when they pop open that Louis Hard case and it's 17. Oh, okay, okay. Word, word. Uh, Rihanna. Remember you said you didn't like Rihanna? Not I, her music, but you said she literally doesn't. She I wasn't did? all that. Oh. He does this a lot. Now, I, I said this for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, you have a girl at home. <laughs> <laughs> that's number one. So you would just pack up and leave your family for Rihanna? No. Then what did you give Rihanna I'm for? I'm still interested. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, Maybe his girl wouldn't care. Second of all, it's Rihanna. he does do that. You bring up something, food, women, something, shoes or something, and he don't like it. It's just, oh, man, what? They man, yeah. And then seven years later, Rihanna? <laughs> You know, I'll he, he, he be on stuff. Oh, like stickies. Real late. 2.3 miles away. Man, what a, that's a story, bro. <laughs> that is a story. I will never forget that. So, moment. quickly for the audience at home, we, we used to go to New York heavily a lot. In New York, they have a chicken tender type spot called Stickies. Yeah, a lot of y'all in New York are probably familiar. When we first went the first couple of times, Derek just wasn't a fan. It was overrated. He didn't understand the hype, why we always want to go. It's, it's, it's not really all of that. The next time we had went to New York, he wanted it so bad that he knew exactly the distance. Like, it would be one thing if he had his phone and he looked it up, but he had his phone in his pocket and we were just walking like, where should we go? And he was like, we should go to Stickies. It's like 2.3 miles away. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> and everybody stopped. And lo- and it wasn't just us. It was like some people from our former company. And we just stopped and looked at him like, huh? Yeah. He's like, yeah, it's 2.3 miles if away. If he would have said it's like also only a mile away, that's different. He had the decimals. <laughs> Y'all forget, too, when we was getting off the plane, we might have been talking about stickies, but then – he has said, man, I've been craving some stickies. I've been yes, craving. Yes, I've been craving Craving, stickies. like a pregnant woman. Craving. The one time I did have it, it was it was decent. But then the last time we just had a recent one, we went and that shit was mid. We ate it. We we, we was dumbasses. We yeah, got we, it before We close. did eat it at like 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. But like, yeah. Any more rumor mills? Uh, let's see. I know Dorian Finney-Smith is available for two first-round picks. That's I, what did I tell you on <laughs> yeah. Discord? We were talking about that last night. That's that they just they just saying two first-round picks, so they can they hopefully really get one. one. Finney, two second-round picks. You aim for the stars, so if you fall, you land on the cloud. Two yep. first-round picks is insane. Crazy. Yeah, especially for Dorian Finney-Smith. Yeah, I just don't understand. You wouldn't say that to Dorian Finney-Smith face. He really wouldn't. He built like an action figure. And I'm built like one too. <laughs> yeah, Big Show. <laughs> hey, Big Show, put your ass through a table. He definitely would. <laughs> you would do that to him, wouldn't you? No, nah, I'd be nice. There we go. I wouldn't put him through a table. That's French. I just choke slam. <laughs> 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 what if KB whooped your ass? <laughs> I'll take I'm that like Brooke Lopez. No, <laughs> no, 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 you're not. 
And then the last one we got is the 76 is he and the Knicks are expected to try to pursue DeMar DeRozan. <laughs> Please. Where your sources coming from, man? The, dunk, Knicks. the Dunk Central? I, I'll give <laughs> the you, Dunk Central. I got $100,000 that say the Knicks don't want nothing to do with DeMar DeRozan at this deadline. Now, in free agency, if he want $11 million a year, they probably do something. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's getting that Detroit Pistons bag. Oh, All right. Yeah, for sure. That's probably why it's going to be hard for the Bulls to trade him because some team has to match that money. It's only tw- – oh, wait, no. I'm thinking about when he first signed here. Never mind. I think it's 27 now. Yeah. It's not like he's making a max, but, yeah, come get him. <laughs> Tired of seeing him take all the shots in the fourth so quarter. They're probably gonna end up just losing. What you him. mean? He can't get a fourth quarter. Yes. The originator. <laughs> okay. That was crazy that they did. When you started work with them, that name ended up becoming Demar Derozan. <laughs> well, and, and being fair, Demar was dominating fourth quarters for its higher. Anybody season. who does it, they've said. Yeah, uh, King, Isaiah Thomas. Uh, Isaiah Thomas is king in the fourth quarter. It's always existed before it was like a YouTube thing for me. So he was biting them. Oh. Well, no, KOT for Q was before Isaiah Thomas too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you be biting. It's, it's been a decade. Who was the king of the fourth quarter in 24, 2012? Kobe Bryant. That one, nobody's calling Kobe that. He's always been the, the black mamba. For real. <laughs> those are, those are <laughs> <the> <laughs> I thought he was going to say he's always been king of the fourth quarter. He's always been trying to play the, on The black mamba in in Kobe's home language, black mamba means. Okay. His home king. language of what? It means God of the fourth quarter. Italy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Word. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, let's talk about some of the stuff that happened last night because it was a historic Please night in do. the association. No. To start off, mm-hmm. yesterday was the anniversary of the Black Mamba's 81 point performance against the Toronto Raptors and Jalen Rose. Yep. A start there. It was also the anniversary of I Want to Go Higher, Derek. When Goran Dragic oh, got his Gordon ass Dragic dunked, got dunked on. on by D Rose. Same day. It's a Damn. historic day in the NBA fandom. Not only did you get dunked on, you let him up cock it back on you? Yeah, that's, full that's, back. That animation is in 2K he so damn heavily for the last he 10 said, years. You know how strong ridiculous. you got to be? That has did been you not signature. know that man had a 40-inch vertical? And then that's a point said, guard yeah. jamming it on you like Shout that. Shout out to yeah. Stacey King on the call. Yeah, I know he watched that back and just smiled. Because yeah. he, he, he could not have done perfectly. better. He could not have done better. Anyway, yeah, anniversary of 81-point uh, game recipes to the Mamba. And everybody's trying to show their ass yesterday. Start off with you on the beat. A lot of ass to show. 70 points. 70. Uh, uh, just a ridiculous, One ridiculous three. outing. 1-3. I'm mad he didn't go for 81. It would have been possible if the Spurs would have stayed it, stayed in the game a little I bit. I think he should have started the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. Just forget the normal rotation. Well, that's yeah. how you get to the what happened in the other game. Nah, they ain't gonna have that problem. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, it wouldn't have been like that. Wimby had thirty three and seven. It don't matter. Wimby was like Wimby took some time, but then he eventually was like, I could do whatever I want out here. Yeah. And it's just like he they was throwing him lobs every time. He was dunking it from so like ten was, feet out. I was watching something at first, mm-hmm. and I had wanted to look over like, oh, Wimby playing. And I saw, I'm like, damn, okay, when, when, I'm like, man, Wimby always good enough for the for the, the games he know that people talking about. He had like 18, and I slid over to the the uh, 76ers box score. He had 24 in the first quarter. He had 33. Oh, yeah. And it was like the second quarter. And yes. I was like, what? Joel put up 34, 10, and 2 in the first yeah. half. And in like, like 16 minutes. That's like, like a what? normal end of the game stat line for a lot of big. That's my career stuff. Did, yeah. yeah. Get Him and Yoke do that, man. Jokic had like twenty six the other night now against um. Don't the forget when Luca had half. like what he had like thirty like ten assists and like a bunch. He almost had a triple but double he, in the first in the first half. He did. He he did finish with it. Yeah. Okay, was it twenty nine ten and ten? That was a different game. I think one a couple games later he actually got the triple double. Isn't that crazy? First half. Yeah, Y'all yeah. think about two different games with just crazy statistics in the first half. Uh, <laughs> no, Joel Embiid was unstoppable mm-hmm. on, on yeah. all three levels, and yeah. it was it's, there's literally no one on the Spurs who could who could hang with that man. Mike, I'm Derek. Nobody in uh, regular season wise. Yeah, yeah Luka yeah. Doncic. Nobody in the world in the Luka. regular season that can hang with bro. In the regular season, Luka Doncic recorded the first twenty-five point first half triple double in NBA history. That's ridiculous. Uh, but seventy is like a number. Now I guess we've seen it three times over the last three seasons. Dame, Donovan, and now Joel. Joel. Yeah, or I guess two seasons, right? Dame and Donovan were both last year. And before yeah, that, I think it's only been done like six times in history. And mm-hmm. that, that, yeah. Um, so seventy is a ridiculous number. Uh, eighteen boards too. Yeah, eighteen boards. And no matter what they did, I mean, on the broadcast, they were definitely pointing out that they were still playing Joel and B straight up yeah, a lot were. of this game. They just started doubling them. They're like, man, Zach Collins, 
That Collins, man, he, he just he trying to do his job. <laughs> it didn't matter if it was Jeremy Sohan, if it was Vic, if it was it didn't really matter who was guard. No, no. Um, <laughs> Which makes sense. How, how do y'all feel about the post game stuff? Where he was asked about it and he said it don't matter until we get the big one. Does I that th- feel like cap? Because like obviously in this game he was gunning to do some yeah, legendary was, stuff. You could tell because if he wasn't, he probably could have sat the rest of the game. Um, no, nah, yeah, it, it, it wasn't. No, it was close it was, enough it was for a him to close. play. It was. It's, it's political cap. Yeah. He knows the that position nobody, he's in, right, so right. he has to say that. But in deep side in his heart, and when he went to the locker room, they he was celebrate. celebrating. It's yeah, celebrating. Yeah, yeah, but if he go and, sure. and he act like this is the shit, what you just said comes back up. Oh, don't we got to do it in regular season? Regular season. He, he's aware, so that's cool. Um, but it definitely is probably some cap. Yeah, you're there. not going to see him popping champagne bottles or nothing like that. You just don't see him just sell, enjoy it. I mean, for him, probably. The big thing is that Larry Obi, like he really wants that trophy. He yeah. knows the narrative behind his name. So I think this is just a statement, but I think it's like I still want to get to Larry Obi. Hopefully mm-hmm. it ain't hopefully it ain't cap. Hopefully his mind is thinking that because he really does need to do like something monumental in the playoffs. Yeah, because. I think it could be a little bit of both. I think he he does have his mind set in the right place, but some I'd be thinking in the back of his mind that he does gun for these accolades, like rightfully so. Like mm-hmm. the thirty three the thirty points and ten. I think he goes for that every game. One hundred percent. And I, I obviously he could just like his team needs him to it, but like fifteen points in the first goal, like he's trying to make sure he's like getting those type of stats and everything to be recognized. And I don't mind it. You mm-hmm. know, I think that's how we get these great games from Joel. Do you all does this solidify him? Is he a- trying or is it just it's just him? And there was one game um, when he was on his 30 and 10 streak where he checked back in, getting that, that 30th point. Mm-hmm. Which, again, I ain't, I ain't I'm see not nothing wrong it. with it. Not if you're doing historic either. stuff, do you. LeBron been doing the same thing for 14 years. I'm going to get my 10 points. You're not <laughs> ending me. I, I am not ending with nine tonight. You're going to foul me, and I'm going to hit a free throw, and I'll check out after. It's, it's just part of the game, and I think that's okay. Do y'all think this solidifies him as, like, the MVP, or is there more? No, there's a lot of it solidify season. him as the favorite? So he so I think he actually is the favorite right now. Right now he is, but he yeah. had lost it when he had played yeah. uh, missed those games. Um, the sixty five game thing is a big thing, right? Will he get to six? If he gets to sixty five, I'm pretty confident that he will be the MVP. That'll let me know where he really at. Mm-hmm. If, he's, if he if he if he fighting poor teeth to get to sixty five, he, he won't that award. If he, if he got sixty four and they already secured their spot and he check in for ten seconds to check out, can't you um can't you like contest some of those? Like, yep. So hey, but this is our first year, so we don't know exactly what that means. Like but they did say yeah, yeah. that you can't contest it and say, like, it ain't like we were re- right. We weren't resting. He legitimately had an injury. So I'm curious to see, like, his yeah, stomach really up. did hurt. <laughs> he, I feel like they're going to be lenient with too. it. I think it's going to be hard for them at the end of the season when somebody has, like, they're, like, three games off. And it's like, there's no way we can leave Kevin Durant off the list. Mm-hmm. You know, so I think that they're going to be lenient. But if they're going to be people. if they're going to be lenient, they shouldn't have applied it. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's, it's not like we're we're void of talent, you know, like. Kevin Durant uh, has missed some time, so maybe he don't get to 65. I'm knocking on wood. I hope he plays the rest of the season. But it's not like we're replacing him with Garrett Temple. Mm -hmm. Like, whoever would take that spot is another guy that's having an all-NBA season or something like that. No disrespect, Garrett Temple. I just, for some reason, what college college he went to? Uh, Garrett Temple went to an obscure college. No, he didn't. Uh, Garrett Temple did not go to an obscure obscure college. He did damn sure ain't going to know to Connecticut. Uh, it was. I don't know why that was the first school that came to my mind. I have no, 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 but I have no Texas visual m- memories. There's of, a girl that go to that school. I would hope so. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking that too. <laughs> but sh- she's a hooper. Okay, so lo- every college has hoopers. Yeah, is it like the hooper? Like the I didn't, I, that's not what I said. I said oh. girl. I'm not gonna say shit that y'all shouldn't know though. But that still means so much. He went to how L- L- LSU. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay. You act like you could just know 50,000 girls. I, I, I know at least seven. Oh, right, my That's point. That's seven different my colleges, point. though. <laughs> Name the seven that you know. I know Haley Van Lith. I know. Who uh, goes where? LSU. I'm, I'm, I'm going down. <laughs> so watch a few of these names be LSU. Uh, Andrew Reese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Caitlin Clark. Um, uh, uh, the, the bucket getter um, from. Um, um, uh, the the one that goes to BYU. Well, all right. What were we talking about? I don't remember. Garrett Temple. Garrett Temple. Uh, but no, it's not like we're void of talent in that position. You know what I'm saying? Now MVP. If Yoke, I mean, if uh, Joel and B don't hit 65, it's not like Jokic don't deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's like we'll see exactly what the the NBA decides to do with that. But they did say that you will be able to contest it. So yeah, I don't know. I think they'll find a way. Yeah. 
Um, Timberwolves. Timberwolves won. Yeah. This is the this is sixty two points for Car Anthony lost, Towns. Though. Was you in there? We was no, all watching it. Okay. This and, was this was the funny one. And they they lost. The, they blew the game. So he had 43 a half. I think the number was 43. Yeah. Eight made threes. and he Ended with 10 threes. Or he might have had 44 because remember he went one one of two at the free throw Oh, line. right. And he was really mad at himself. He was super mad. He set a record for most points and a half for a Minnesota Timberwolves player. Uh, set the record for most points for a Minnesota Timberwolves. And fourth quarter came around and offense was stagnant. They could not stop the young young guys. And Bada boom, bada bam, they lose the legendary That's the second night. game in a row where their offense was stagnant. We was watching the game against them with the Thunder, and they went stagnant in the fourth quarter, and yeah. they just couldn't score. Yeah. Hey, game. I love Anthony Edwards. He sometimes beat guys and bring them back. He should just go. I noticed that last night. He loves a snatch back in the midi range. I get it. It's an incredible move. It works a lot. Mm -hmm. But I think it's such a habit of his that even when he has guys beat, he still resorts he to resorts it. resorts back to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. But yeah, they were just hunting for cars in towns, and um, we kind of said that in the Discord. Like at that's some point, y'all should just play basketball. And there was that in the um, post game. He said that we was kind of immature last night. We saw a cat. That's because that coach said it first. Chris yeah. Finch said Chris that Finch first. Chris Finch was hot. Yeah. yeah, he said that we was just literally just trying to get cat the ball instead of us going out there and hooping. So. For like his last sixteen points, he took like fifteen plus <laughs> shots for it. Yeah. yeah, I feel like as basketball players, that's kind of natural in a way. Like, if a guy do got it going like that, you kind of do, like, just get him the ball. But you also don't want to force it. You also kind of want to play the game naturally, too. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's when they're really special game, when they I, get it within the flow. I was just confused because they had times to really, like, do that, to yeah. really give him the ball, and they didn't. And then when they didn't really need to, they were trying to get, force him to get shots. Yeah. Like, there were certain times on, transi on transition, he was trailing down the middle where I'm going. I could just flip that back to him if I'm really trying to feed him the yeah. easy ones. And then he would, they would not do that, and he would come down and feel like he got to shoot a three. And it's just like, why y'all take that shot? Y'all could have just threw it back to him in a fast break. Or he had that one he missed that was the bunny. Mike was yeah. like, ooh. He, that would have been an extra two points. He missed like a, a two, three-foot floater. Mm -hmm. That was right yeah. by the rim. Um, he tried to get the last possession. Last two minute report three. might say that he got fouled. Mm -hmm. All of that is irrelevant if you ask me. Yeah. Because it's it's not, in my opinion, when it comes to a team like the Minnesota Timberwolves, which is a team that's competed for a championship at this point in time, it's not necessarily wins and losses, right? It's about how you get to this point and what type of things are you setting up to get there. The, like you mentioned, the last three games, actually, fourth quarter offense has been dog, it's been awful. Yeah. And again, part of this one is that, hey, Cat got on a burner, let's get him the ball. But the other night, Against the OKC Thunder, OKC came in down by double digits. Yeah. And never when I was watching that game, and I think OKC was going to be out of it because I've watched the Timberwolves mm -hmm. play this game before. And that is something they need to remedy because when it's a seven-game series, they can't have this happen No, three games in a row because you, you're losing the series at that point. Yep. It happens once, that's fine. You know, it happens to every single team. You start to pile them on, you're like, man – we we struggling to do these things around here. So, uh, yeah, uh, Anthony Edwards mentioned how immature they were. Chris Finch was really, really pissed, and I understand him. Like, this is this is not like you lost to the OKC Thunder, who are really good. You lost to the Hornets. On a, on a night where <laughs> your second-best player gave you 62. And, we, bro, <laughs> and my thing is, D. Mills was mentioning the defense on the last pod. They gave up almost 40 points in the fourth quarter. Like, yeah. Now, some of that was, like, some of those the were Hornets really, were just they making were really tough really shots. Shot. They were on – no, they hit some really big shots, like Terry Rozier, Brendan Miller, all of them. But at the end of the day, I've seen this team lock up some of the other best teams in yes. the NBA. But it's also well. a regular season in this NBA. You're, Charlotte sometimes just gets hot. They also a team that gave the Boston Celtics 138 points mm -hmm. one night. So, like, Charlotte's a team that can really go out there and light it up some nights. They might be young, but they can – they definitely got hoopers over there. Yeah, and I saw people on Twitter like, Mike Conley didn't play. I – it's the horn, you know. It's the <laughs> bro. Nikhil yeah. was the one hitting shots. Yeah, <laughs> Nikhil was the one hitting yeah. shots. So it's just no matter what you say, given that Carnton's put up sixty-two, yeah. you're going against the Hornets at home. This is objectively just a really bad loss. Yeah, it's I like the win for the Hornets, man. Mm -hmm. The young guys play. Leaky Black, KB was like, Leaky Black is getting minutes. Yeah, I seen him in the first half, really getting minutes. What college he went to? Arkansas. He went to historic school. Uh. His, historic in basketball or yeah. just basketball. Duke, it, uh, very close. Kansas, UNC, UNC. Oh, oh he sure was, did go to I UNC. I was close geographically. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's close because they have, it is geographically, yeah. but they have the biggest rivalry in sports. Oh yeah, that's true. But no, um, and then uh, they felt so good about that win. Or they it like Terry Rozier. You think it's Duke, North Carolina, or Yankees, Red Sox? 
Uh, Yankees, or, Red Sox. Or Lakers, Celtics. Y- y- Yankees, Red Sox. Yankees, Red Sox. I probably, I probably Lakers, Celtics to kind of die down. It's not really the when same. When it happened, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I yeah. I'm not looking at Tatum versus Braun. For like, sure. Ooh, they hate For each sure. other. Yeah, nah. I, For sure. The rivalry thing just don't hit the same in the NBA no more. Yeah. It's, they work it. We got some bu- brewing. Dylan Brooks the, versus Shannon Sharp. Only ones that really hit <laughs> is like Luka and D. Book now. That yeah, one, that one be hitting every one. time. The, pay, the pace is bucks. Hey, it's getting there, bro. It's slowly mm-hmm. getting there. The pace is bucks when it's heating up, They man. call reinforcements in James up. Johnson. I really want the, <laughs> right after bro that just, game. Bro just sitting on the bench. Yeah. yeah. I really want the Knicks and Cavs to really get into some beef. Mm-hmm. Just because I think both of them match up and it just adds some more gasoline. I like the Cavs. And I, yeah. I, I you know I love my Knicks, but I, I want to see them play again in these playoffs. I would love for both I of them to stay at that point. Me too. You know what, Mike? And I want to see the Cavs have a little bit more. Ah. I'm hoping that it brews into it. OKC Minnesota from their last game. There was some talks. You saw Shea, Shea clap oh, back? Yeah, Shea. Yes, I'm hoping. Like, they, they Shea versus about Anthony Edwards. <laughs> Give me that as a rivalry, please. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love those comments from Anthony Edwards. You got to put it out there in the atmosphere. Hey, man, they doing anything. Is that, but they really hard when he getting all them damn calls. But yeah. you know what? He does it. He, this is not the first time he's done this. Subconsciously. Yeah. Well, he can't touch him. He's just he be talking about the refereeing and stuff, and I mean I'm not obviously the refs are humans they make a lot of mistakes and stuff, but God, did you see the one where LeBron posted the LeBron posted on his IG story with a big ass scratch on his arm? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was like, and they didn't call it. They said did you see what he foul. used as the ref? The zebras. He used the zebra. <laughs> the zebras ain't called. My it. boy, the foul. Um, and that was School Henderson, right? Yep, School Henderson. How do you dig into somebody's body? He that? was really those going like for the ball. Yes, bro. Like they, those look like he had claws on his hand. Yes, bro. bro. Like. Ugh. And Twitter was going crazy about like, never mind. I'm not even. I forgot. I forgot. Um, you cutting crazy. your nails is really, really important in you hygiene. You crazy. Getting a nice That's manicure all. is always nice. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Much, you don't much have needed. To, <laughs> you, don't have, <laughs> you don't have to post it every time you get it done. Yeah. But you know it can mean? be m- much needed. Yes, you do. Post that shit. <laughs> let everybody know that you nice and stiffy. Nah, mm-hmm. let let people know that you take care of yourself. Here, here's Woj's about the Hornets. You gotta act like you've had shit before. Uh, the Hornets <laughs> will become a team that will take on contracts for draft assets in their cap space too. With many franchises facing second April implications, there mm-hmm. will be no shortages of teams needing to incentivize deals with draft picks to get off money. So, the Hornets. So they'll do what I thought. The, what I was thinking the Pistons would do. Yep. Um, I wonder what what teams are gonna be in my. I don't know. Uh, so today we're gonna be doing All Star voting, but before we do that, let's hear from our sponsor, Caesar Sportsbook. Why should you bet with Caesar Sportsbook? Two words, Caesar's rewards. Every bet brings you closer to the type of benefits only Caesars can offer. Hotel stays, VIP experiences, sports and concert tickets, and more. It's not just an app, it's an empire. Uh, the, the numbers on the board soundtrack is fire. Like we, the, we the, was the intro dancing. song, yeah, that's, yeah, I love it, I love it. I love uh, Austin, man. During that, he was like, hey, y'all need some waters or something? Oh, is that what he was saying? <laughs> yeah. I love Austin too, but I hate when he talks to me like I can't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> he, I can't. He's got, no, you just you just got the softest voice I've ever seen from anybody in my life. Yeah, even when I don't have my headphones on, I have no idea what he be saying. <laughs> <laughs> the comments want to hear that voice though. He was telling, hey, you know, it got like eight hundred upvotes on the last episode. You're, you're Austin, and Austin will literally be like. <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> Man, I forget some well, I hope I never get in trouble with Austin. He finna be yelling for help, and ain't nobody gonna hear him. <laughs> <laughs> help, help, help. Hey, that's funny. You. We used to have uh, go this dude, piece. remember uh, <laughs> D, D'Angelo on our basketball team, and he had the same thing where it's like, he sound like, he, he had just a had a quiet, D'Angelo. like a small <laughs> mouth. D'Angelo had a little mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's just like he had a thing oh too where it's God. like he couldn't really yell. <laughs> he couldn't really yell, so we'd be on the basketball court and imagine you like it's a screen coming and your all you hear is your teammate in the smallest voice saying scream, <laughs> scream. Because <laughs> he would try to yell, yeah, bro. He was trying to yell. Work, bro. He couldn't yell. Nobody name if he, if KB was walking away. And he was like, KB, <laughs> KB was not to walk. KB was not here. I'm trying to here. I'm trying to work on that for myself. I can yell, but I. When I go to the basketball games for my little brother, 
I don't have my dad voice yet. So sometimes <laughs> I'm trying to say something to him in front of all the crowd. My shit just... When we was at that game, you did do that? You said, I sound like my pops right there. I remember in, in the oh, first right. game. Yeah, yeah, I had a little... I'm like, I need that right there. <laughs> yeah. Because you got to have that one... That, that distinct p- voice that, that you can hear. Yeah, yeah. Free throw, you man. Hear it a lot, sometimes that's mine the voice. be stretchy a little bit. Yeah. Like, I'm still a 16-year-old boy. Be like, hey, get over there. <laughs> Get your, <laughs> hey, get your ass back. Don't say nothing to the ref. <laughs> I need to have that. I think you you amplify a little bit after you uh, you become a pops. True. So give it some time. Give it some time. True. Um, All-star. I, I raised y'all, though, so maybe I don't need it. <laughs> All-star? I, I raised All-stars. y'all. Come on now, Mike. You weren't wearing Jordans before you knew me. You was wearing Gordons. I'm like, I ain't need no big Gordon, <laughs> <that>. <laughs> big Gordon had a shoe. You know what I'm saying? I was wearing the Shaqs. Look. Mills, Ain't no wrong with wearing shacks. He got the watch, nope. the chain. That's great. Dude, that I think that's, the new I think that's Angie. That's hey, Angie, no. though. That's the shit Mike be on. Remember Mike was going through the phase where he wanted to act like he put everybody on or something? Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> D-Mills drinking coffee. Who who you see <laughs> drinking coffee? <laughs> like Mike, bro. <laughs> Mike, relax. Do you remember he you, said he got me into sneakers? Yes, I remember that. I was just that. about to say but that. No, no, he was dead ass serious. He was so I was serious. dead ass serious. He, so he still still believe it to this day that he put you on the sneakers. It is what it is, man. We ain't got to argue <laughs> about it crazy, all That's crazy, bro. That That's crazy. That's like me saying I put you into 2K. No. Exactly. I still just don't understand how that. That, that sounds crazy for me to say, right? It is. I'm a, a, a guy with three pairs of shoes put me on sneakers. <laughs> all three of them shoes are in the studio right now. He just cycled through the same three. KB been, <laughs> KB been having shoes since before he knew you. Way before. But before he even knew what he was wearing. That boy was wearing shell toes when I seen him. That, that's, that's because I was paying for myself. I had a minimum wage I'm job. Talking about, I'm talking I can't about. He had seven pairs well, of Jordans. I, I was on a, we was in high school. Right. But I'm talking about before we knew y'all. He, I don't even think he might not have been in school yet. Pops Pops was about that. Don't I, I got heard, I got I heard, pictures I of me stories. in the, the questions. I heard the stories. Yeah, pops don't play, bro. You, I heard that you money got was him into through. shoes is crazy. My pops also got the D'Angelo. Thing. He can't yell. Oh, for uh, real? Yeah. Uh, That's a, he, he can laugh. He a big though. dude, he too. Laugh, yeah. My yeah. mom used to yell at my basketball games. And say what? <laughs> Poo! <laughs> Get that boy some yeah. water! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, listen, I love women. Got a special heart. A special place in my heart for women. But at the basketball games, they be saying the most craziest shit. They be <laughs> saying shit that the, the boys don't want to hear. Like, like, oh, I, when we were at that game, Pass. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Don't let him score on you. Duh. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the type of stuff my mom You got to defend him. Duh, he's trying. <laughs> Go guard your man. That's what my mom I'm like, bro. EJ, I'm like, I'm in transition. What do you mean, guard my EJ was at the free throw line. It was quiet. And his mom said, if you miss this free throw, you walk at home. <laughs> right, and he I'm hit like, the free throw. And he, 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 go to, he pointed to the crowd. Uh, like, this shit is crazy, man. <laughs> they just be saying all type of stuff. They got it. Uh, my, my mama used to run on the court. For real? What? I swear to God. And do what? At KBA Amistad Park. <laughs> she used to run on the oh, run I thought you were talking about your head in like your high school. Oh, well, no. My mom middle was, school games. I don't know if my mom went to a single high school or a middle school game for me. She had more valuable shit to do than watch you 100%. get water. 100%. Oh. I'm just, I'm just talking. <laughs> That's crazy. He said 100%. <laughs> All-star ballots, though. This was tough, man. It was a lot it of candidates. Was. Are we trying to make one collective ballot? Like we did last time? I like want to hear thing? everybody's choices, though. Where? Where? Oh, we not putting a thing on the screen? What thing on the no. Screen? Oh, no. Okay. Um, the one we did You be coming time. out of left field with shit. <laughs> you know, when we when we do shit like that, we discuss it. This is not in the run of show at all. <laughs> 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 all right, let's, let's so talk about the Eastern East? Conference. Yes. Uh, Who are your locks to start in the Eastern Conference? I not got, locks to play, but just locks to start. I got Halliburton, okay. Donovan Mitchell, Tatum, Ooh, Giannis. Donovan Mitchell's a lock to start? Yes. Okay. Same team as him. Okay. Um, Donovan Mitchell is not a lock to start? No, I don't think he's a lock to start. He's a lock to play. No, he's a lock to start, KB. I think he's a lock to start. Okay. He's an MVP candidate, KB. He's been playing like the second best guard in the East. Without a doubt. When I had when I had my ballot two weeks ago, uh, I put Jalen Brunson in the mm. starting line. Yeah, see, two weeks ago, I probably would agree. <laughs> nah, not, not this right When now. I think about locks, I mean, like, there's no if ands, or buts about. That's Tyrese about Halliburton, that. there's no if ands, or buts about. Tatum. Giannis and B. No if ands or buts about it. I, I had Donovan Mitchell like Donovin has a Mitchell. lock as well. Me too. I feel like Donovan Mitchell is playing. He, he's in that sphere like, now. Yeah, lock it up. He's in there. Uh, all right. Guards off the bench. Are I these know. locked as well? Huh? The uh-huh. guards off the bench for the Eastern Conference. Are for they me, locked? For me, basically. Talk to me. Brunson, Maxi. Okay, Brunson, Maxi. Are we agreeing on Brunson? I have Brunson, Brunson Maxi. Yep. Brunson, Maxi. All right. You had? Same thing. Same thing. But I, I have Brunson in the lineup, and then Mitchell here. But same, same core guys. The uh, forwards. I have Paulo. Are they, wait, are these locks or these are just? I have locks. Okay. 
Apollo, Randall, and Bam. Same exact thing. I have the same exact thing. I have the same thing. I have the same players. Okay. I think these last two is where we probably This is get, where things where we get, get interesting. Le, 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 this the, t- different. the two wild card spots. Who want to go first? You've been going first right. this whole time. You be got, thirsty, don't you? Thirsty. I got Jalen Brown and uh, Scotty Barnes. Wow. Oh, yeah. Hell no. I don't have two. I don't have those two. Wow. I have Dame and Trey Young. I have Jalen Brown is a lock to me to make this game. Um, I wrote I wrote Jalen. I wrote snub Jalen Brown, but I got Dame and Trey Young. He's having a good season now. Of course, we're gonna have moments with with Jalen Brown, like um, the game against the Denver Nuggets, where they desperately needed him to provide, and he just did it. But for the most part, uh, twenty five points per game since December first, fifty three percent from the field, thirty nine percent from three, and obviously on the best team in basketball. Um, still providing really good defense. Been playing a bunch of games as far as like, you know, they've had Porzingis out here. They've had this player out here. He's been one of the few consistents. Um, I, I have him as a lock to make the game. I feel like when you have this many wins above the competition, that one all-star just feels wrong. And yeah. I'm not saying that's like the determinant factor, but it's like I'm, I just think about that Celtics team. They, they're not this good with one all-star, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. So I have him over... Not mad at that argument. Um, Jay, um, uh, uh, Trey Young and Scotty Barnes as a as a all star right now. I got Brown and Dame. And I don't think I don't think Scotty for me is a lock. I just feel like so far to see, I think he's been more consistent than Damian Lillard. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel like. And my original Damian Lillard was on the ballot. That was the night he hit the game yeah. winner. So it was like it was like a week and a half. Ago. I feel like they, these two is is going to really come down to the to the close to them. I don't love Dame's case anymore though. I don't either. It's really close, but in, in Trey Young started off like when I was making my All Star ballots early. He started off as a starter, and he's kind of worked his way down. I'm still like very hesitant to put Trey Young in there instead of Dame. Like, he's, it's kind of bounced between Trey Young. Trey Young is my lock. The only guy that I don't know is Dame. Mm-hmm. That's the only one I feel like can change. And if it did, it would be Jalen Brown. I don't. Scotty Barnes is not an All Star. I didn't think about Scott. Jalen Brown was as a lock. Um, for me. Who I else did playing too well? Yeah, it was just Jay, it's Jalen Brown, Dame, and Trey. And I I, I got to put Trey in there, man. I, it, for him to not make it is ludicrous. Mm-hmm. It, I, I don't understand the reason behind it. You can't tell me they're losing games, but then we'll talk about the West and those <laughs> guys losing games that are going to be an all-star game for them. So we got to figure out a way where we could be consistent when it comes to Trey Young. So. I, I feel what you're saying, uh, and I, I'm assuming you're talking about like the Lakers who are sub-500 or one of those. Uh, the, we're going to get to the West Conference ballot, obviously. When it comes to that, those top players are, are so damn dominant that I feel okay with giving to them. But also, the Lakers being one game under 500 is a lot different than, like, am no, I, for the, sure. the but Hawks even, being six even, and eight games under. Even before the Lakers were like this, I guarantee your ballot had Anthony Davis and LeBron James. Yeah. Right. So regardless if the Lakers were at this point or were not, the ballot was going to have them in there was my point. So it's just like, you know, people st- – does did, We'll get there, but it's probably somebody else's on y'all thing that y'all kind of don't know if y'all want to put them, but it feel wrong to have them off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Steph Curry. Yeah. He, he probably is going to be an all-star. So then how do you make that case for Trey Young to not be? I think Steph Curry's just been better than Trey Young um, this season. I, Trey, I'm not, Trey I'm Young not mad. is giving you 30 and 10 on a I, night, I, I'm man. Trust, I'm not mad at it whatsoever. And a, a night, that's just not – that's what I'm saying. The, the, the consistency of what we state – when it comes to trade for some things, it just don't add up. We, if if it's wins and losses, but then Steph Curry will be in there, and it's like he's been good. Well, so has Trey Young. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, this is one of the few years where there was no like definite formula for me, because there are so many people that are playing right now. Like yeah, yeah, for sure. Historically, it's been like, ah, oh, this guy is already being all star, but damn, he missed too many games, so mm-hmm. he's not in the ballot. Now, mostly everybody that you can imagine being an all star has played enough games. Yes. So like the whole pool is there. So like. I don't have a definite, this is my recipe that everybody mm-hmm. f- finds. It's like if a I'm lot of personal opinion, bias, yeah. if we're being honest with each other. Sure. A lot of personal bias and opinions. And it's somebody's going to have to be it's cut, almost like 20, and, and I'm thinking about just out west, like it's 20 all-star players that could deserve it. For sure. Yeah. Not going to make I it. I prefer it like this, though, because yeah. I feel like in the past, everybody just went to team records. I, don't, I never thought that all-star was about that. It can be a part of it. But I don't look at teams and be like, man, they got to have this amount of all-stars. They got to have. No, I want when it's the all-star game, we want the best all-star players on the floor. That's what we want. Who is the best players on in the league? And we want them all on the floor. That's what I'm going off of. And, Some in, years, in general, that kind of the way it works out, right? Because being an all-star level player traditionally results in wins. So it, it, it doesn't. It's I not, mean, yeah, some, um, yeah, most of the time yeah. it does. But there are times when certain players, like there are times Kobe Bryant was on garbage-ass Laker teams. Mm-hmm. 
Still Kobe Bryant. Still want to see him in the All-Star game. Still one of the best players. It's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it, it's, it's just tough to consistently be on um, a one or two team. You know what I mean? Like, especially now. It's so much parity now. We see it. You one week you may one week you may not be you, you may be in a play in, and then the next week you may be the, <laughs> the fifth seed. You yeah. just see looking good. You know, two weeks ago the Lakers we were panicking, and then now we we here we might have home court in a couple of days. It's so it's so close, and, and you know that's the best part. Mm-hmm. None of these guys who when we talk about Steph Curry, Trey Young, uh, who is somebody else that we named that's on the team, the Lakers, mm-hmm. they're they're in the mix. It ain't like the Wizards got an All Star. Right, we ain't, yeah, we yeah. ain't up here trying to convince you that an eight win team or a nine win team. Those hey, the Spurs have an All Star. All of these teams are you know they're they're a win streak away from being right back in the mix anyway. So. You know, I like it, but the only for East, the only person where I'm kind of like, ah, that ain't a lock is Damian Lillard for me. I have no problem putting Brown in there. Um, I don't, Scotty Barnes, I, I just don't see it this year. I, it started off that way, mm-hmm. but um, I think Trey Young, Dame, or Brown is the mix for me for the last two spots. What Scotty ha- has is like his clutch numbers are ridiculous. Like he is one of the most efficient players in clutch. Uh, his his numbers in the clutch as far as offensive rating, defensive rating are so like. But also, I don't want to build my ballot that way. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I, but when I'm trying to differentiate between two players that both deserve it, I kind of have to try to find the determinative factor for me. So when you have Scotty, I, I understand and respect it. Um, again, but my, my, another, mm-hmm. another thing, not to cut you off, Trey Young is in protocol now. So yes, he's yes. In, yeah, concussion, concussion protocol. protocol. Um, and I don't really know how concussions work to know how long it's going to You got to keep passing guess, tests. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to keep passing tests before Wasn't you Wasn't he play. in a game that he shouldn't have been in when it happened? For real? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he got hit by... Um, he took a charge. Damn. But who was it with, though? It was I forget, but it was in a game that was like, this, this shit was over. Is mm-hmm. there anybody else on our ballot that we could see? Like, are we sure Halliburton going to play? He's good? He's yeah, good he, he's play. come back. Um, even though um, he missed the last he, game, he, he's yeah, come he back. Said, he said yesterday for the hamstring. Everybody but. should be good, right? Everybody yeah. should be good. Yep, I think so. Um, as of wood. right now, lock on wood, yeah, we still got a, a few weeks. No, for that. no consideration or thoughts at all for Pascal Siakam? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I didn't know if y'all was, because I didn't have him. And I ain't even have him on my snub. I'm like, one of them gonna act like Pascal. No, which no, is no, such no. A, okay, it's not cool. his year. Not his year. He wasn't on the short list. Um, Anybody else snubs? All we mentioned was Brown. I'm really Scottie, trying to pick Dame. between Dame, Trey Young, and Scotty. Nobody. Anybody spot. else came to mind? Anybody no, else? Not, not really. Okay. I felt like with the East, everybody kind of just fell in line. Yeah, yeah. Like it kind of was. It was pretty easy. You're really just picking between those four players for the last yeah. two spots. Literally. Literally. The starters was like East. locks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for KB, he said Diamond wasn't a lock. Right. Um, did no you know Mikael Bridges? That, that, no, hell okay, no. okay. No. I'm just making sure. I'm just making uh, sure. Did you give your two wild card spots? It was Brown and Dame. Brown and Dame. Yeah, that was a lot easier than I anticipated. I think Damn. the West is where the it's West is probably. Out. Yeah, all right, let's right. get to the West then. Uh, locks in the starting spot, Mike. Give me your locks. No, don't just give me your team. Give me your locks, Shay. Okay, Luca. Yep, Jokic. Yep, LeBron. Oh. Uh, those are the locks, locks, locks. Um, Durant and LeBron are the next two. You could argue. I, look, Durant seems more like a lock. I think LeBron is is in there too. I don't know. I really don't. My my five is the same as Mike, and I I give the same sentiment. I think Shea is a lock. Luke is a lock. I think Jokic is a lock. I'm leaning to Durant as a lock. I, the reason LeBron is a lock is just because I can't picture an All Star game when he's not starting. That's why I, w- I <laughs> yeah. was thinking the same thing. I was like, there's probably something yeah. you could make a case for another forward out for here sure. for like Kawhi or something yes. like that. But it's like I, I, LeBron is probably most likely going to be All Star starter. Even when but, I was writing my starters down, I was like, do I put Kawhi? Bro? I'm like, LeBron ain't coming off the bench. Yeah, <laughs> Forget what I like or what I want. LeBron ain't coming like, off. Like the Curry's going to come off the bench. But because that's because Shea and Luca have having such, such a superior a season. season. There's not that for LeBron. I yeah. There's no for, fourth that's doing Coming that. into the season, I thought for sure Luca and Steph were like the lock starting always, at the guard right? spot for yeah. like the next few years. Like it was yeah. just always Shea ain't going. But man. then Shea said, oh, hell no. Y'all must have forgot who I am. You must have forgot. Yeah. Uh, got the IG post. Did they forget who he is or did they oh, never no, he, know? He had to make sure he got to come out and let them know. Yeah. 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 Do we all have Kevin Durant as that fifth starter? I do have KD. Yes. Okay. I Perfect. Shea, Luca, LeBron, KD. Perfect. Jokic, I mean. Give me the first two guards off the bench. Steph and Anthony Edwards. De'Aaron Fox and Anthony Edwards. Ooh. De'Aaron Fox and Anthony Edwards are my two wow. first guards off the bench. I'm, I'm in agreement with you, D. Mills. We split here. There we go. Um, Great minds think alike. Now, Steph Curry obviously is not having the unanimous MVP season or the season even last year. I mean, he, 
currently, obviously, they're dealing with with the de- the passing of Decky and everything, so they haven't played in about a week or so. But he was he was slumping. He was slumping yeah, he for was. for Steph Curry standards. But the numbers are still twenty six five and five, which puts him eerily similar to what Kyrie Irving is doing right now as far as his counter stats goes. Yeah. Uh, but he's just one of those. He's Steph Curry, and I can't imagine. Um, a, a world where he's not a lock at the guard, especially because his numbers are still really good. He he get that. Trey Young ain't got that where he gets that he is that person. No, I'm just thinking about Kyrie. I wish Kyrie had that because Kyrie is a better talent. I'm just I'm just messing with Kyrie. <laughs> oh, oh, me and D Mills looked at each other like <laughs> I just messed with Kyrie. I wish I was I wish I could be serious so it could go mm-hmm. viral, but I can't I can't. There's, there's some podcasts out there that probably would have had that debate. <laughs> For real, oh, Gilbert trust. Arenas and Rashad McCants would, de- yeah, they trust. probably would definitely. Uh, the fours. Gilbert <laughs> told us that the Knicks need a star like Jalen Green. Yeah. Gilbert, <laughs> I love you, but I cannot forgive you for that. I hope you had All Star Weekend. Jalen Green might. Never mind. <laughs> front court Forts, Yep. Anthony Davis. Oh, you're right. It is front court, not Forts. I'm sorry. Front court. Anthony Davis, Sabonis, and Paul George. Mm. Whoa. Mm. What? I Paul had... George over Kawhi? Kawhi's on here. I had oh, eight, oh, AD, Kawhi, just, and PG. Wild card split. Yeah, yeah. What'd bad. you say? Um, P- Front court, AD, Kawhi, Paul George. I agree. AD, Kawhi, Paul George. All right. Now, these wild card spots, here's the list of people. I'm just going to name the list of people. Oh, gosh, man. Um, y'all already have De'Aaron Fox. So I'm going to say De'Aaron Fox, Steph Curry, because y'all haven't mentioned their names yet. Um, Demata Sabonis, Alprin Shingun, Brandon Ingram, Devin Booker, Carl Anthony Towns, uh, Larry Marketing, and I'm uh, obligatory Rudy Gobert. And Chad Holmgren and Victor Wembanyama. Oh Webinyama. man, bro! I might change my list. Bro. I think I might change. Uh oh! All right, so I might change. Where my are you list. at right now, and what what's causing so, you to maybe so, change it? So right now I have Curry and Book. Okay, as my wild card spots. I don't just listen to some names. Sabonis has had an amazing season, bro. Yes, yes. yeah. yeah. Sengun has had another one. I know we've been fighting for him. I might. I, I wouldn't be mad at putting Sabonis in there. Mm. It's See, just who you taking off. Me and Mike are so similar because I have Curry mm-hmm. and my other guy is Town. Ooh. But all day yesterday, well, not all day, when we was at the Discord and I was making my list, it, it kept being Sabonis of Towns, Sabonis of Towns. And I'm like, that was the part where I took your, the same shit you said for the East with the Celtics. Mm-hmm. They've been too good to have just a one all star. And Anthony Edwards, as good as he is, it's hard to just act like he's the sole For reason. Sure. Yeah. So I'm like, do I I want it, but you putting Sabonis there made me happy because I was hoping he got some love because y'all know I love Sabonis. Sabonis he's having a career. He's year. having a crazy yeah. year. Absolutely. Every year is amazing. a career year for Sabonis. 12, <laughs> 2012 and eight? Yeah. It, it was so tough for me to not put him on there, but man, well, I think I might have to. The reason the the Timberwolves win a bunch of games is what? <sighs> Rudy, but he's not. I don't want to watch his ass. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> so don't he's, not, he's not on the valley. He's not on the valley. I'm sorry, Rudy. Yeah, I, no, I you're just, right. You're right. I think his offense is still not and very then, good. And, and, <laughs> so and then when like, I wrote down Towns, he went out and had that game. So I was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, come on, boy. But Sabonis, they lost the game, though. They, they lost, lost the game. They lost the game. They, so game, they really man. did. They really <laughs> did. That, that tweet <laughs> got like. Uh, thousand some likes, and hey. I knew it was gonna do some numbers. I, I literally opened Twitter that when you posted it, it said forty seconds, and it already had like a hundred likes. I'm like, <laughs> he was on it. <laughs> but my reserves was Kawhi and uh, D Book, because you had Paul George. Yeah, you already had Sabonis. In Wait, there. I'm, oh, you already had Sabonis. Yeah, in. Sabonis. He was one he of your top guys. Okay, okay, they're just like in different spots. Right, right, but they right, all okay. in there. Right, okay, okay. This is the real snubs, man. This is the who you go to. Uh, I had De'Aaron Fox because I did not have him as one of my main guards. Mm-hmm. And then I, I went with Booker as my second one. See? And you know what I wrote? I So I wrote snubs. I had Laurie as a snub. Man, I, I wanted to put Laurie in there, in there yeah. really bad. God. It's a bonus. But if I put him in, Towns, I would put right there. Right. Booker. And then you know what? At the very bottom, I put no pails. Yeah. No yeah. pails. Yeah. They would be the only Western Conference team without an all-star. Without an all-star. And yeah. they're, what, fifth? Yeah, somewhere like that. No, nope, no pails. That's but this again was from a week and a half ago. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. So you said you wanted to change yours. Did you tell us who you wanted to flip in? Flip Sabonis. Out? You want to flip Sabonis in? That's kind of how I'm feeling too. You got, got man, Sabonis, man. That's kind of how I'm feeling too. Damn good. So yeah, I that would be one of the geez. best seasons. Somebody not making an All Star team, man. Yeah, legitimately. Yeah, twenty points, Almost twelve rebounds, double. and eight assists. And it's not yeah. like he's on a team that's seven games under. Mm-hmm. Like he's doing that on a real playoff team right now. <sighs> it might not be having Kyrie Irving might be a year. snub too. Yeah. Kyrie's been hooping. 
But uh, Desmond said? Bain was on my snub list, but this is before his injury, yeah, obviously. Yeah. But you know, Desmond Bain probably would have been in there. Thank, if he thank you, Jesus, healthy. man. I don't because know. we the last thing we needed was more names to pick from. Didn't I just say that? What, what? did he say? Didn't I just say Desmond Bain? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Thank and you. then he just said Desmond Bain. No, I was just fo- I was picking him back off what you said. Oh, I said okay. Desmond Bain probably would have been in there. Oh, in the game, that's not picky bagging. That's saying legitimately what no, he said. No, unless you're saying the actual game. Were he was he making your your actual it game? On how he was playing, but he was playing so damn good that like okay, he had a case. I'm seeing something when we be looking at each other, thinking he's saying he's just he think he's piggy back. Oh, that's why no, we always be like that. I actually don't be hearing y'all. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> My bad. I don't think I don't think Bane's case was too great though, even with him healthy. Who? Bane Desmond Bane. No, I just like Compared to have to him like in a conversation. Or something I just like love to have him no, in a conversation. I, I like that though because he's just a he's a killer. Um, let's build a third All Star team of just snubs. Like, come on. Or do y'all want to do a role player all star team? No, let's be, no let's, we well, got enough all stars. That's called the Kenny for real all stars. That's, let's, we could oh. do that. And you know who the captain? The man, Alice Caruso. I was, was going to say Alice Caruso. <laughs> Third year in a row, captain. Let's um, <laughs> let's let's do that, but let's let's do these snubs first. Okay. Okay. So our guard is Booker. Yes. Well, I had him on the action I had ballot, him on my but yes. mind, but yeah. Oh shit. So we'll we be are we doing each conference? Kyrie, or Kyrie, Kyrie doing, would be. We can do each conference, but let's do the, the West first. The Eastern Conference gonna snubs be gonna be yeah. weak. Eastern Conference, got it's like Demar Derozan. You, you, here you go. <laughs> Kyrie, Kyrie, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and who? Um, y'all had Booker. Brandon Ingram was a, a snub for me. He is he? Oh. He's a front court player, right? Yep. So, so that would be, be Laurie, Laurie, and, yeah. and then Cat, Cat, and Cat, and yeah. then who else is the second backcourt court mate? Oh, did we not come up with that? We got Kyrie, but I wanted to put Booker, but y'all. I had think it Booker. just depends. Oh. It would be like Booker Curry, depending on who you left out. We I all think. had Curry, right? Yeah, Curry's on the list, so, so he's already in. Yes, he's not a snub. So yeah, let's let's think about somebody that's not on our <laughs> official snub not? list. Who is the next best guard in basketball on East Western Conference basketball? Let's see. We have. Um, I'm just gonna say some names. Jamal Murray. Uh, we, we we have sure it's Jamal Murray. Okay, because <laughs> now I'm looking at the rest of this. It, Desmond Bain probably if he was stayed healthy, and yes, yeah, it's, it's probably Jamal Murray. Nobody yeah. else has another guard that's not. So Jamal service. Murray is never going to be an All Star officially. He's just going to always be a guy that it, we know. It, it's better at for All-Star both of their legacies. Legacies. He's Jokic be, never had an All Star, and he's going to be the greatest player to never make an All Star game. Yep. Unless he get one when he's 34, like we Mike need Holland that did. because the answer be like Monte Ellis or something. Right? CJ McCollum. CJ McCollum. CJ McCollum. CJ McCollum. He, he, yeah. Yeah, it would be Jamal Murray. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not a bad thing to be, though. Jamal the, the Murray, Kyrie, are very good. Brandon Ingram, Towns, and Larry Mark. That's a really good team. That, yeah. that is like an a all star reserve team. What's the what's stat? So, East. <laughs> we it, depends have, on, it depends on who you had, right? Uh-huh. If Trey Young wasn't on your ballot, he's obviously the lead guard. If he was on your ballot, then Damian Lillard is probably the yeah, lead guard. I got both of them. Trey Young, my oh, because you guard. got Jalen Brown on. Yeah, but I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Trey Young and Jalen Brown, so my guard will be Dame. Mm-hmm. Who else we got in the backcourt with Dame? We know Kobe we got White. a front court with Scotty Barnes. <laughs> he said Kobe White. <laughs> hey, Mikael Bridges, Derek, Derek, Derek White. You know, oh, Derek, Derek White got White, a Derek lot White, of All Star yeah. buzz. Derek man. White, Dame, uh, uh, Mikael Bridges is a front forward. And this is where you put Scotty. Uh, Scotty, and then who's our center? Uh. No. What? No. What? No, what? No, no, no. I don't know. What? Why. Who did he what? say? I don't know why. I don't know why I even consider saying him. My bad. My bad. My bad. I wouldn't mind. Man. Jared Allen. No. Miles Jared Turner. Allen. Miles Turner. Miles Turner. Yeah. Jared, 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 Jared Allen. Allen really good. Pretty good. That's a pretty good get. Oh, That's a Chris pretty Stop. good get. Oh, Chris shit. Stop. Missed too many games. The oh. brother, brother plays every other game, and it's fine. It don't even matter. But no, I, I don't. Jared I don't Allen. Know. Yeah. Jared Allen's yeah, a good one. Jared Allen's Jared Allen's a really good one. Also. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, it might be Alec Burks as that that lead guard the way he's been hooping on that team. Yeah, Vucevic, boy, you need I'm your so ass used with him being an all-star. With a Belsevich. Just, Why? Why? He's been in two all-star games his whole say, life. How long, long ago, to? how long ago was that? <laughs> right. He's been in a bull for four years. He hasn't even sniffed an all-star appearance. You need, with your, the you need your ass with, with a Belsevich. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he's shooting from three, Derek? It's like twenty seven. It's like twenty two percent now. He shot five threes last night. That was and one of the- them was a big three, and I knew it was not going in. You know what he did? This is bothering him. It bothered the hell out of me. He asked for a post touch. They gave him the post touch. He was going against Nurkic. Nurkic is, Nurkic is a bruiser. You're not going to move Nurkic in most cases, especially if you're not Jokic or Joel Embiid. He tried to back Nurkic down for 10 seconds, <laughs> kicked it out to Kobe, then relocated for three and missed the three. I'm like, get this man off the court. <laughs> get him off the court. And you know what happens? He has performances like against the Raptors where he put up 27 and 16. And you're mm-hmm. like, oh, snap. 
And then he go against anybody else. They got a, a center that's over six foot. Oh, ten foot, seven foot. <laughs> ten foot. <laughs> <laughs> and he don't do nothing. I would say center and six uh, a six foot center. You might find that in high school. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, shout out, shout out to Vucevic though. He was on uh, the point four pod a little while ago. Oh, he was. Yeah. Which is whose podcast? Evan Turner and Iguodala. There you go. Yeah, and mm. he was a, he was a good interview for sure. Mm. We you invite you, we invite you to the show. No, I don't. Yeah. I, don't, I only see vocal. Does he talk a lot? He he in that interview in those clips I saw. Yeah. What's your favorite podcast? Uh, wrong answer. I, am I supposed to just say my own? No. Yes. No. No, I, I, I was your, I was hoping he was. Besides wasn't, your own. He wasn't trying to set me up. To no, say I wasn't. I was I, if you ask me my favorite curious. podcast, I'm saying my podcast first. I don't care. I'm curious. I don't really have one. Uh, maybe uh, Shannon and Ocho. Uh, Nightcap. Yeah. Nightcap's really good. Yeah, Nightcap. I don't listen to podcasts. Jenna Which is probably, fine. Probably the only You're body. a basketball player that don't watch basketball. That's 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 basically what it is. <laughs> like I've been seeing a lot of clips on TikTok of like these four star recruits, and they're asking, "Who's this guy?" It's a picture of Kelly Olynyk, and they didn't know who Kelly Olynyk was. And then they showed a picture of Adam Morrison at Gonzaga, and he's like, "Who is this?" Uh, uh, ain't his name Mike Krzyzewski? <laughs> right here, right here. No, somebody <laughs> said that. I'm like, is they serious right now? But four star recruit, he might make it to the league one day. Maybe you don't need. I guess you don't need to keep up with the NBA, and that's just something that don't nah. click in my mind. It don't, when I, I was playing basketball, all I was watching was basketball. Yeah, he'll probably go to the. But yeah. maybe they just in the gym so much they yeah, don't watch. His ass will be in college for five so, years. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just interesting. Cause but, like you're going to the league to play with these guys, I feel like you should remotely know who you're playing against. Part there, of my um, there's a certain level that you should. You don't have to be a basketball geek, but not know Adam Morrison is fine. Thinking his name is Mike yeah. Shevsky is different. <laughs> um, but for me, when I think about, like, the content that we make, I think it's, for me, very important to watch other people's content. Obviously not taking what they're doing, but, like, Get I kind of like, like that. Yeah. yeah, It gives you inspiration or, like, ideas. 100%. Like, yeah. I 100%. think that's normal. I think that should be something that's normal. And, like. But you know what I do? I don't do it in our field, though. I'm not watching another basketball podcast. I'm out. We need yeah, that. Yeah. I'll, I'll listen to a soccer podcast and or watch a soccer before. YouTube channel and say, Ain't nobody in the NBA world doing what that soccer dude is doing. Who can be that guy? How can you create it into the basketball? Exactly. That and makes and sense. here we are. <laughs> you know what you I'm saying? Told me that, 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 was, that might have been a minute ago when you had told me he was doing that. He's like, I'm looking at, and it might have been legit, like the FIFA community. He's like, I'm looking for inspiration on videos. I've been cutting him like a dry spell. I want something new. Yep. And I was like, that's You know that's who I got that from? Who? Jesser. Before my team videos existed, mm -hmm. Jesser watched KSI and them do FIFA Ultimate Team videos and just ripped it. The editing, and I don't mean this in a bad way, the editing, the excitement, it's just like, I'm going to open packs too. And then Jesser's videos start to take off because nobody was doing that in basketball. Mm -hmm. And with my videos, at least the game and stuff, I'm doing very similar stuff right now. Mm -hmm. And it's kept me afloat, at least. Uh, yesterday, I was talking to KB, and we kind of agreed. It's, it's the middle of the season. It's kind of flew by <laughs> already, so... It's going to be fun to look back at some of the over-unders we did at the beginning of the season before everything went down. On that old podcast, that weak-ass podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. So shout out to our boy Clips for putting this all together. Uh, it's, we're not going to go over all of them, but some that just kind of stick out. First one we had was the over for the Lakers at 47 and a half. <laughs> Everybody except B-Mills locked it in as an over. But did oh. he agree at over? Or he, he agreed. He, he, he agreed didn't lock it. No, nah, there's no lock next to his name. Damn. So he, he agreed with us. That, see, that lets you know how, like, crazy the NBA is. In that moment in time, there was no world where we saw them not winning that many games. That's yeah. crazy. We called it a lock. And now, I'm damn near locking the under. <laughs> Curly on pace to win 40 win games. It's crazy. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Say that again. Curly on pace for 41. You know, when you told me this, I want cleaning the glass has it so, like, they look at your advanced statistics and say, hey, if you played this exact same way all season, how many wins would you have? And you said they're on pace for 41? Yeah, Cliff's put in uh, what they're expected to do. Okay, uh, so he's, he's actually looking at the same stat I am. Okay, great. Okay, yeah, yeah. 41 is exactly what I'm reading to. Mm -hmm. um, the next one I thought was pretty funny, OKC. A lot of us, me, D Mills, and Pierre had them under 45 wins this season. Under oh, wow. who? The OKC. OKC Thunder. I said over? You said yes. over. Yes! I'm winning. Currently, I'm pacing to win 57 games. Sheesh. See, see. Okay, so we're not looking at the same stat. Based on their mm -hmm. advanced statistic, they're on pace to win 60 games, which is crazy. Now, I don't think they're getting to 60. But damn. But okay, see, at that time, it was like, we know that they they can be good, yeah. but will mm -hmm. they hit that next step? We, they, nobody they expected Chuck to be this good. That. 
Um, Good it, shit, OKC. Okay, yeah. What was the number again? 45? 45. Uh, 40, 45. Yeah, 45, 45 was uh, the prediction and they're on pace for, would you say, 60? Yes. And I, I think that both last season, I don't got the numbers in front of me, they won 40 games. So mm-hmm. we were they were asking, do we think they can be five to six games better than last year? And I understand people that are like, ah, that's a lot. Uh, but, yeah. <clears throat> now, oh, this is just real quick. Because I've seen the same thing for so for Denver, they were at 54 wins. The Celtics were like at 50, around 55 wins too. You took the under for both of those. Mm-hmm. Were you? I think your I rationale just was just like they can't, like they can't keep up the same record like three years in a row. I think my like rationale was that there's so much parity that there might not be a team that's dominating, and yeah, that shit not right. <laughs> the, Celt- <laughs> the Celtics smashing that over, and the Denver Nuggets. What'd you say that it was? The uh, 54 was the prediction. So um, 53 and a half. So they're at 50 on pace for 53 right now. So, so it's, they might they might not make it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now they're starting to hit a stride a little bit. I think it's definitely possible they hit that over. The Houston Rockets. <sighs> everybody took their over at 32 wins. And right now it's looking good. They already got 20. Good job, guys. We believed in y'all, Houston. So don't tweet me. Oh, he's a new Rocket, Rocket that's Jalen Green and not been getting money. Give up about your time. <laughs> <laughs> the next one was new mom. whip. That's prime time. Sierra missed that slot. <laughs> now he just freezed down. I can't believe that man Mike said Sierra missed that slot. <laughs> hey, D. Mills don't know a song, so he gonna believe you. That's crazy. Uh, next one we had was the Utah Jazz. Ooh. I'm They're, sure we all were wrong about the Jazz. Everybody went under except for D Mills. D Mills took the un- D Mills took the over. I did. You remember he's a, <laughs> he's a fan of the Utah Jazz from the Derek the Derek Favors era. Yep. Oh, yeah. So he always roots for them. What was the number? Um, they were pro- projected at 36. So 35 oh, and a half was the wait projection. Wait a minute. So I'm right. No, no, it's not locked in. It's not like they're so they're twenty two and twenty two. Right. They were around this last year, and then obviously they stopped winning games. Right now they're on pace to win thirty four games. Okay. So that's a that's a buzzer yes, beater. Keep your eye on it. That's a buzzer beater. They would have won some more if Lowry was playing. For sure, one hundred percent. Um, the Timberwolves. Everybody took the over. We easy don't got to worry about that. Because what was it like forty three or something? Forty five. Forty four and a half. Yeah, that's that was easy money. The Miami Heat. Oh. P and D Mills took the under. Oh, sh- me and KB took the over, and right now they are twenty four wins. They were projected at forty eight and a half, so oh, it's still a, it's possible. It's possible, but it's a toss up. I didn't see them as a fifty win team. Yeah, yeah. No, I have what they I projected. Them. Right now they're projected to win <laughs> thirty nine. Oh, by their advanced stats because they can't score. Oh, but now Terry Rozier on the team, y'all. They have the 29th ranked offense in the last two weeks. They're awful. We'll offensive. keep our eye on we'll it. We'll keep our eye. So it's one of them close ones. <laughs> Did we have one that we were split, like two people went this me, way, two me, people went that way? Uh, me and you love the Hawks. Some remember? we were split oh, at man. was the Grizzlies. Oh, I went over on Grizzlies. 100% I went over. You went under. Oh. You went under. They were at they were at 47. Now, obviously, they probably didn't pr- have all the injuries in there and everything yeah, like that. But yeah, 47 I think is still pretty high. We knew Jaw was out, right? I think for the, the day after games. we did this episode, Steven Adams was announced to be out for the yes. season. Oh, yes. That's how yes, I remember yes, that happened. Yes, yes. Oh. So, uh, P and me took the over on that, and you guys... The rest took the under, and obviously it's looking like the under going to hit for that. Mm-hmm. We were split on the Pistons. <laughs> D Mills and Kenny took the over for oh, 20, my heart. 28 wins for so the Pistons. So your OKC shit this just brought down a lot. Because <laughs> <laughs> they on pace to win 15 games this year. God, What was they shit, 33 20, or something? It was 20-something. Oh. It was like 28, right? Y'all saw the vision. Of, well, I got, obviously y'all didn't because y'all took the under. But I saw the vision. Cade is back. and uh, What was it? For the Pistons, it was 27 and a half for the projection. That's such a low number, too. Yeah. And yeah. still, they're not even I can see why somebody would that. bite at that. Uh, next, another one we were split at was the Charlotte Hornets. Me and KB took the over for them to get 30 and a half wins. Yeah. Yeah, it's not looking so good I for I remember that. my rationalization being, when LaMelo Ball's been healthy, he's been able to keep them at 38 wins. And he wasn't healthy most of the season. And so you said they have a little bit of like different. Pro- he has you have different projections than me for the Bulls. How many they projected? They're projected for thirty six. Their projection or well, before the season was thirty six and a half. Mm. Right here he has them for thirty eight. So it's kind of split still. You had him as a lock for over. Obviously, you <laughs> had him as biased a lock. fandom. Yeah, that is biased. Fandom. We all had him over, but you had it as a lock. Uh, what was my argument? I don't. Even, I can't even give a good argument. Because you couldn't have predicted Kobe White season. <laughs> Uh, I might have did it like as a troll, just because I needed something to attach myself to. What the to. Knicks was at? The Knicks were at. They were at 40, 44 and a half. 
And we all we, took over. Everybody to took over. the over. Yeah. Pierre has a lock. Yeah. <laughs> no, they on pace for 53 <laughs> as currently constructed. What so. did we do with the Blazers? I'm curious. I, all went I think under. we all went I, under. I wonder, did I go over? He might have. He might have. Uh, hold on. Let me look for He's him. Like, I wonder what we did. It <laughs> all went under, Brody. I promise. <laughs> On some real stuff, I don't think he has a Blazers in here, oh, bro. Because we probably just went under. <laughs> we probably just skipped. Yeah, yeah, we probably we don't have the Blazers in here. Right before the da- before the Dame trade. What about the Orlando Magic? Oh, I'm curious about what we did on, on the Orlando Magic, because that's one of those teams that right now they're starting to not look great. But like they had a nice little run before they all did. the injuries. I think set. I had them under because I thought they was gonna be like. Or you had them in like the 11 seed, yeah. yeah. But he, you know, those are different episodes. He does not too. have the Magic in here either. Clips. He's missing, he's missing a few scenes. He's doing it for free. I can't be mad at somebody. No, I paid, him, I paid him for it. Oh, look at Mike Penn. Did you ask for the Hawks credit card? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, word. word. <laughs> uh, no, that's, that's good. Shout out to Clips. Shout out to Clips. Um, I don't think that any – I'm trying to think of the other teams that are widely different than what we ex- – can, can you, do you have the Pelicans there? I do. I do. I've seen it. Um, they were – the projection was 44 and a half. And P and me took the under on that. Okay. Me and KB took the over. Yep. There are, he has a projector for 48 wins. How many does they, uh, how many um, do they They're have? on pace for 51. 51? Whew. Okay, so they would blow their over. If they did land if on that, right, it would right. be like over six other projections. So. The thing about all of these, though? With no we only, all-star. We only halfway through the season, baby. I know. Only halfway through the Some season. Some team could get real hot, and one of our missed ones looked like a hit. And you know the Lakers always had us. Second and a half well, of the season. Well, DeJounte Murray might come in and change it up for them. You never know. Here's another one. Everybody took the over on this team. Atlanta Hawks at 42 games. Damn. Everybody took the over. It was just such blind optimism. <sighs> Trey Young, we believed them, in you. The second year of DeJounte and Trey figuring it out. Yeah, it, new coach, Quinn yeah. Snyder, full offseason. So and they've had, like, Jalen Johnson take a leap that none yeah. of us expected him to take, and mm-hmm. they still can't get it. Um, shout out to Trey. It ain't his fault. No. It's, it's a combination. Of it's a combination of a lot of stuff, but I mean, they go. Maybe this trade, this consolidation trade that they're Less trying to do, more. might make it happen. I don't know. Less don't is know. more theory. But yeah, shout out to Clip. Shout out to you for that. Trey Young just and about to go crazy. Keep track of that. But at the end of the end of the season, we'll come back again and see what we were right on, what we were wrong about. Um, anything else around the association that y'all want to get to? Uh-huh. Kevin Durant. Why is he not mentioning the GOAT conversation? I saw you did. Did you do a whole episode on that? Or was that just your main topic? It's the main. Okay. No, not. I mean, it was a big piece of it, but Mm -hmm. it's the. Right. It's the grabber. Yeah, it was the right time and place for him. I think a lot of people would knock him because he he joined the Golden State Warriors. Uh, I think that's that's one of those things that just, like, adds a stain to his, like, GOAT resume. Even outside of that, he has one MVP. Yeah. He does. Nobody with one MVP is in GOAT conversation. You might put Kobe. Kobe. But that's it's not in real go conversation. That's what I was trying to really get my pops to understand, though. Is like I get what you're saying, but that's the thing about going to Golden State. The opportunities to do those things kind of remove for yourself. those four yeah, years. Yeah, you, you may get years. another MVP if you don't go there. You nice. know what I mean? And I think your legacy looks a lot better if you take down Golden State and Bron. Imagine if you stay with OKC and he beat and he Steph beat Curry and LeBron. Or even if he left, but he, no matter what, if you don't go to one of their teams, you're going to have to go through both. If you're on the West, you have to go through the Who the, had uh, who, who had money then? A lot of people had money then. Actually, cuz that I was the Boston year of the was big jump. To try to get him. Uh, I know Washington the wanted them, but he didn't even interview with the Wizards. <laughs> Brad Beal and um, John Wall and him. The, the, maybe I'm confusing The Clippers? I don't I think I might be confusing his second free agency when he went to Brooklyn. But weren't the Knicks in the conversation or in the first one? The or was it just one? the second one? He said I we don't want to go there. I feel like it was the second one. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it was the second uh, one. But regardless, the there first were teams time I that remember it being there. Boston, Wizards, Clippers, and it may have been another random one. Um, but yeah, and, and another thing, let me ask y'all this because my pops, he act like he don't want to understand it, and I think it's just because he's a Jordan guy, and it's always some shit with LeBron. I hate that old people got that. Forget what you like. Mm-hmm. LeBron and Kevin Durant, when they went, when they joined their team, it's two different things, correct? 100%. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah, it is. It's different. You join a team that yeah. won 73 games and put you out. Yes. LeBron James, though he went and created a team, they didn't put him out. Mm-hmm. They didn't just go to the finals. Did they they didn't make win the playoffs the year games. before? They no, made they it. did not. Okay. Yeah. But he built the team. Yes. Yeah. And, and kind of opened the door a little bit to that idea. For sure. For, for the next generation, which holds his weight in itself. But 
it is it's definitely a hundred percent different. And I'm and I'm over that. You yeah, know for what I'm sure. Like, As I, most people should be. I know yeah. they don't always. It was it's ages just, ago, man. It was twenty sixteen. For sure. That's almost it's just a that decade when we, ago. When we bring up KD and his legacy, it does have to come up. But I am over that. I don't hold no. I don't care about it no more. Um, but when I think yeah. about LeBron joining the Heat. I always think about damn, if Melo just didn't sign that contract, and it could have been Melo. I prefer Bosch. I think Bosch ended just, up being a I blessing in disguise. I forgot that wrinkle. I would just thought it would have been fun to see Melo and LeBron. Would Me- was Melo ready to take that back seat at that point know. in his career? I don't know. That's why I like Bosch I there. Because, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was 34 still talking you about, they a, want me to come off the bench. Right. Like, you have a guard, you have a wing, and you have a front court player. Like, I, I like that versus a guard and two two wings and they spots and all of that. Bosch mm-hmm. was able to sacrifice. He was a really, really good defender that I think that they would have needed. Yeah. Um, I don't know so. if Melo was buying in on the defensive side. You think of the ball. about that and not about the Luol Dang trade that fell through the Clippers? Oh, no, I try not to think about that. Okay, one. word. <laughs> I try not to think about that one. Yeah, I respect that. <laughs> but yeah, man. I, I feel, a little, you know, Kevin Durant is. But you one know what? Kevin Durant is time. like a top 12 player of all yeah, time. Yeah, he don't have to be in a goal set. A lot of people don't reach that, that stat. And he's the best score we've ever seen. Like, yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of accolades, a lot of titles to his name. Goat is just not one. And that's fine. That's fine. Might be goal score. Could be. Might be goal scorer, man. Could be. He double not many double clutch game winner. A game that winner was shot just nasty, from the midi, bro. There's just, not many 6'10, 6'11 guys that could do it. He, he, he birthed that. <laughs> yeah. Before him, the NBA wasn't ready to invest in that. Well, they like, pa- man, you playing pa- on a pro. Perry Jones the third. Perry Jones oh, come right God. to mind, too. <laughs> Perry Jones the third, Brandon Ingram. Kevin, uh, Kevin Looney. His mixtape on YouTube right Baby now, the KD. next Kevin Durant. Um, there was a uh, Austin Day. Y'all remember Austin Day? Yes, I do. He was a KD. He was a KD. KD clone. Yeah. And yeah, this none of none of them really worked out because Barry it takes, Jones III was on the team with Katie. Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah. and I was excited about that yeah. too. I was like, oh. it was like they got two KDs on the team. Me in two K. They used to real compare minute. him to Tracy McGrady coming out of high school before Man. he went to Baylor. Harry Jones, Crazy III. Brandon Ingram is a KD baby, oh, yeah. you yeah. know, so to speak. So. Yeah, he he birthed the whole lane. It's just tough. It's just tough. The thing and is though, as much as we put the like the clone or baby. None of them is even touching None of them. what Kevin can do None because he's close to seven foot. Like, to, to, when you internalize the fact that this man's close to seven foot and he puts the ball on the floor and not just put it on the floor, he's creating for himself at that size and there's not anything you can do. You yeah. put a small defender on him, he's shooting over. You put a bigger defender on him, he's going past him. Like, he is a, a literal freak of nature. Um, and some of that gets lost in the fact that he did end up going to the Warriors or that he did do this and he did do that. All of that Warrior shit went out the window when he got hurt. Because it's like, I'm not going to take this dude for granted because he made a move that I wouldn't have made or I didn't like. Because when I seen him tear that Achilles, I was in my mind. Like, I remember watching just constant highlights I of him. I bro. You couldn't tell me nothing when they said Kevin Durant was coming back yeah. in that finals game. And I was just like, man, they don't want nothing. Yeah. And then he started off with, like, two buckets yeah, on yeah. Kawhi. On Kawhi. Oh, I was like, they scared, man. Well, the thing of that series, I, I still think if Klay Thompson don't tear his ACL, I still think they win that series. Too. That's a legitimate thing. Yeah, because he he was going off. Don't let, like 30 don't let points. don't let Erica and and, and Chino and Casey. Casey. Game, yeah. Danny Green, Danny Green who chased him down. In full Danny activation Green, yeah. mode in that game. Yeah. Raptor was, fans was clapping. Yeah. When he went. Yeah. Down. Who was yeah. that? Who was that? That told him was that Danny Kyle Green. Kyle Lowry. Lowry. They was like, stop, yeah, they was telling stop. stop. What are y'all doing? Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I think that 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 was why a lot of us fans felt the way because in the back of our mind we kind of knew like Katie, they gonna look at you I re- different. Bro, I remember, bro. It was what wasn't it? Um, Fourth of it? July. Fourth of July. Like I remember being out and getting a notification like Player Tribune. What the hell is happening? And this is yeah, this is before the podcast existed. Yes. This is the year before the podcast existed. Yep. If I'm not mistaken. Kevin Durant joined the Lakers. The reason why we decided to put microphones in front of us Warriors. at the Lakers. The Warriors. <laughs> the reason ahead. why our podcast started. <laughs> so thank you, Kevin. Because we needed an outlet to talk about how much we hated it at the time. And now we forgive you. It was great content, though. What's your favorite content. Kevin Durant phase? Um, Probably the OKC days. OKC days. Yeah. I love the Brooklyn phase. I don't know why they didn't win it all, but I, I just loved I just loved. I got to sit courtside to watch him hoop at, in Brooklyn. Nothing like it, bro. I it was him, him versus yeah. Luka, too. So it was like two of them, but like. I love that Brooklyn game where he was going against Giannis and he had that 50-point triple-double. Yeah. Like that, that, oh, one, that one was yeah. crazy. That yeah. one was really That's good. Who got hurt? Because I remember I came on a podcast. Like Kyrie K- got hurt. Katie ain't like that. He no, ain't Kyrie all bro- around. Guy. Kyrie had sprained his ankle. Do y'all remember oh, yeah, that? He had 50 the night after. Yeah, I remember <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, with a 50-point triple-double. Like, no, I think it was the same exact uh, day. Yeah. Oh. We dropped that episode Holy and he did it. And Because I remember, because I was in California, because I was on Zoom while we was doing it. I'm glad we was 
Was that the game big. he played like 48 minutes through? Like yeah, he played yeah. the whole That would have been a freezing cold take. I was, I was freezing on cold take. Take. <laughs> Telling him that KD is like yeah. that. Yes, yes, freezing yes. cold take would have got on my ass for that. Yeah. And KD, my boy, I don't even know what I was saying. I was just talking. <laughs> I was sound like a hater, and he's the guy that I love. I don't, I don't even get that, but uh, yeah. But nah, yeah. yeah I love the Brooklyn phase of KD, especially I love the last year when Kyrie was hurt, and it was him and them young guys, and he was like oh, out there yeah. with Edmund Sumner, Nicholas Claxton, Yuta yes, Watanabe. He was wheeling them to wins, yes, bro. bro. And I remember wheeling they played the Mavericks, and he was telling Theo Pinson, y'all got to send four people at me when I get the ball. Shut up. Stop talking to me. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's when you like saw like an evolution of his game too. He was like making guys around him better and everything. As like, a as a as a selfish fan, I like to see that. I like to see some of my favorite players kind of have to like put shit on their back mm -hmm. versus like I, I I like the team in them too. Every team majority that's in comp, uh, that's competing for something, whether it's a championship or a playoff spot, they all, they all got like that's two guys. That's why I think OKC okay, was kind of my favorite because. I, Durant could take over any game, but he also is like he's very okay with being chilling for a game. Like he's okay with having twenty if Kyrie or whoever else has like thirty or whatever. Like he's okay with chilling. The OKC OKC days, one there was no chilling, bro. The OKC he was in his bag he was every just so, game. He was so nice. Yeah, it just oh. seemed like when he left, no, he wasn't. KD is not nice. See, they had a <laughs> campaign. I had the shirt. Bro. They had a campaign <laughs> to try to make you fit. And then it just felt like by the time he got to Brooklyn, he went through all the shit with the Warriors. He started talking shit. Mm -hmm. He started replying back on Twitter more. Like, he ain't give a damn. And I just kind of like him playing with that edginess. And he was talking his shit. The biggest what-if team we've ever seen with our own eyes. Yep. That Kyrie James Harden team, they played with 200 minutes together. One of those games I was at when they was in the UC. It is the most dominant. Like, there was nothing the Bulls could have done to stop that team. And at, at complete health, I, I'm as, as positive as a lot of things. And we talk about a hypothetical world. That team is a championship team, bro. Yeah. Easily. Complete health. Kyrie gets a score. Without Kyrie and James Harden was playing when he was hobbling down the court. Kyrie could score as much as he wants. James Harden get to hold the ball and, and facilitate. And the defense wasn't as bad as you would think for and KD a team. And KD can that, do what he do. Who Come else was on, starting man. with them? Um, that was young Claxton. Claxton. He was not. He wasn't starting though. They had Lamarcus Aldridge starting some of those oh, games. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and who was that. the fifth guy? I'm trying to think. Um, I can I can search it on my who hands. Who was Joe Harris? Harris? Okay. Ooh, it might have been was. Joe Harris. Maybe I think it was Joe Harris. It might have been Patty Mills. Some nights nice too. <laughs> you know who's also on that roster, but obviously he wasn't the set player he is now. Bruce Brown is on the roster. Yeah, like they was. have a lot Bruce, of players yeah, that's on what that they roster. Started. That was Bruce Brown was like a small ball center for <laughs> them, bro. Mm -hmm. Bruce Brown was yes, Bruce Brown started for them a lot of games. He used to always hit that short roll and shoot that, that little floater. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Bruce Brown. I'm trying to go to speaking the of the Nets. I, I, here it is, right, right. Bro, they had all three of those guys. They traded all three of those guys, and now they're in a position where I think they should just really blow it up. And I hear y'all push back and understand that the Rockets own a pick, but even with McHale, they're, they're giving up a lottery pick. They're a lottery team even with the guy, so trade them for five picks, man. Yeah, I, I don't know why you would hold on to McHale, <laughs> McHale at that point anymore. Yeah, McHale isn't like a building block guy. He's more like a glue guy. He's like an... I mean, I guess we could see if he could be a potentially number two, but he's more so like that number two yeah, to three. I think he's, best three. In, I think he's, he's like a 2.5. number three role, yeah. He was his starting his lineup, by the way. First game in the playoffs, it was Kyrie, James, Kevin, Joe Harris, and Blakey Blake. Oh, oh, Blake yeah. Griffin starts? Oh, because of the, it's cause of Blake, Is that the year Blake Griffin lost his spot? Because he was actually like – Oh, no, this is the year first after. round. Never mind. Oh. He said first round in the playoffs. And then this, uh, off the bench, they had Uncle Jeff, Brucey Brown, Landry Shamit, Young Nicholas Claxton. You know who also is on his roster? Tyler Johnson. Tyler Johnson's on their roster? Yes, mm -hmm. bro. I do not remember Tyler Johnson. I remember him playing there, but I remember him being on this roster. Yeah. Um, that sounds random. Yeah. This team was so good the pre this year where they took the Bucks to seven that the year after, the championship odds had them first. Oh, wow. They were plus they 240 probably looking to at win that it toe. all. That total on the land from Kevin Durant. Yep, and then um, they their over under in wins was fifty six. They only won forty four. <laughs> they only won forty four. <laughs> is that the year they got swept by the Celtics? Yes, it is. Um, but damn, bro, to to think about how much everybody was like, this is the champion. Yeah. Like the plus plus two forty. I'm I'm gonna double check. Plus two forty is one of the lowest or highest, depending on how you gauge it championship odds that we've had in a very, very long time. 
I'm li- I'm going back in history. Plus two forty. Mm-hmm. The only teams that's bothering that is, as you can imagine, the eighteen nineteen Warriors, who were a minus one uh, sixty eight, which oh, means that they were guaranteed damn near world yes, championship. <laughs> yes. <laughs> who did the Bucks play after they beat the Nets with the Kevin Durant thing on the toe? Was that the Suns? That was a. Yeah, they went to the finals. That was the conference oh, finals. Okay, yeah. No, that was second round. I was going to say, that second round and is then that, third uh, round. Haw- Hawks. Hawks. That's Hawks. the Hawks. Oh, yeah. Hawks. Yeah. Hawks. I'm sorry. Hawks. Hawks. Yeah. In the grand scheme of things, if they make that shot, they could beat the Hawks. And you're looking at it like. They, they was going to beat the hell out of Hawks, and they was going to beat the hell out of the Suns. Sun. It was just, just and if they could James get Harden past Giannis. And James Harden would have had a little bit more time to let his hamstring heal. So what he, he, or what he was, was he going to get back in that fire? Do you, nah. I'm trying. I'm looking at this. Do y'all really. Because you got to play more games. Yeah, you're right. Having negative odds to win a championship is ridiculous. It's crazy. <laughs> it is especially so the, the crazy. start this season is wild. Yes, and I'm I'm still going back to our history. This Nobody war- has a negative. This Warriors team is the only one with a with a negative, and it's a three year span with Kevin. The only teams that have a negative. That's how ridiculous that team was. The only team that comes close is that first <laughs> year of Miami with with Bron, and then the 2003 2004 Lakers that got to the finals but None lost Jordan to the Pistons. Teams? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I'm still going back to that. Um, I, was people betting in the '90s? The Caesar Sportsbook exists in the '90s. I don't even know. Bro. <laughs> I have no idea. Did you, bro, there was uh, I, I'm not even gonna say from who, but there's like you can make bets on players to score in the Super Bowl already. Yes, and if you don't, if that player doesn't it's make no it, it's, it's no, no refund. It's no refund. Imagine you can bet you, CMC right now, and if you don't make it, it don't matter. And it was crazy because the odds weren't even that good for it. <laughs> Now imagine you could place a bet for like Anthony Edwards to score twenty five points in like in first the, game yeah. or, the, uh, fi- or like whatever, Finals. and he hasn't even got there yet. That's uh, just the Bulls' best who, year, by the way, was plus one hundred. Plus one hundred. Yep, that's still really good. Yes, but no, ne- nobody has this negative money. Money ninety six. So that was the year. That's insane. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I want to actually go through this off the show when I have more time. What team had the lowest odds to actually win? And they actually Ooh. won. The, the, the most recent one, because I did a video on this. Detroit like, Pistons, probably. No. Who? Um, uh, but that, that, I, don't, I didn't count that as recent, though. That oh, was, was 20 years Bucks? ago. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Keep guessing. Keep Y'all can get this. Y'all get this. It, it, and I'm talking about in the last, about the last, few the Raptors. last Wait, 10 years. Last, span. Oh, the Raptors. last 10 years. Raptors. Hold, we got the Raptors. Uh, the Dallas Mavericks when they beat oh. the, the Miami Heat. That's more than 10 years ago. All oh, right. So it's 2014. Shit, the Cavs. We got the Cavs. We got multiple Warriors. We got the, the Raptors. We have the Bucks. We have the Lakers in the bubble. The Lakers in the bubble. The Nuggets. The Nuggets and the Warriors. The Warriors. That first Warriors team. Oh, the first one. Oh. The first oh. Warriors first team. Oh. Was I had plus said multi- I said multiple Warriors yeah. championships, <laughs> but the I, I didn't the know. The first which, Warriors with Harrison team Barnes. was plus twenty eight hundred to win a championship. Wow, isn't that crazy? Because going into the season, we wasn't we didn't know that they were going to be. Yeah, yep. yeah. LeBron, they, that 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 won't happen if LeBron just had Kevin Love or Kyrie, man. Uh, I agree. that man was in there just trying. He took I them agree. to six. I agree. That just Mavericks team himself. plus two thousand. So even that Warriors team had lower odds or higher odds. How, how do you say that? It would be lower. Lower odds. Yeah, yeah, lower odds. Lower yeah, odds. Okay. Lower odds. I think. Uh, but yeah, that was the most surprising championship team in modern history, according to like preseason betting. Oh, yeah. Which is just something. It makes sense. Derek, there are a few years here where the Bulls were high. The Derrick oh, Rose MVP Derek season. Rose? <laughs> oh man! What was the odds for the Derrick Rose season? Uh, now again, you have to remember that the Miami Heat existed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know that he was the favorite. But plus four hundred, that was second in the league behind the Heat. Didn't get there. Who else was up there? The Spurs, the Lakers, the OKC. Yeah, yeah. Lakers with Pau Gasol. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do like a full deep dive on this in the video. I think the most surprising champion in NBA. I'm gonna go back 2004. I'm going to do it before you. I'm going to do it when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> the 2004 championship Detroit Pistons were plus 1,500. Wow. So that's not, I mean, it's a lot, but it's not, again, yeah. that Warriors team is almost double. You put 200 on that. That's a lot of money. That's a lot. Wait, where were the Warriors? Plus, plus 2,800. 2,800. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Nah, all you got to do is tie that in with a part late. <laughs> I, I want to do the same thing with MVPs. Who is the most unlikely MVP to start the season? Who do y'all think that might be? Derrick Rose. Yeah. Derrick Rose. It was Derrick Rose. Was. Probably it was Derrick Rose. Yeah. I don't even think anybody's going to come close to that. 
was a year three. Yeah, youngest MVP of all time. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. When yeah. you got the youngest MVP of all time title, they your odds give, are probably They didn't give MVP awards to people that just graduated high school. <laughs> and he did that. Hey, he was that good. What, was, that the, what was the odds on Ricky uh, West on sale? <laughs> 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 well, you had to go back and get a bookie. This, my, my bookie said that it's plus yeah. 1,800. The, mo- the most improved player one might be really good. Yeah, who is the most... That, yeah, because the odds are always, I, yeah, always all over the place. Like, who's our most improved player this year? Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey. Yeah. I think he was high odds to start the year, too. Maybe yeah. not the number one, we, but he was high. I went on somebody's show, and they were like, y'all caught? I'm like, yeah, we said that. Yeah, like, yeah. We, we, we said that. The most. Mm. Who are the, the most depot? improved recently? Was V.O.? V.O. could have been. V.O.'s a good surprising. one, because he was not, none, wasn't on nothing. Yeah, no. Yeah, uh, V.O. was definitely a good one. I don't know what Julius Randles was. That's a good one. That's a really good one. That is a real Laurie good marketing one. too. Laurie oh, Mar- Laurie, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a real most approved to me. Nobody saw you being an all-star this year. Nobody. Yeah. Not a single person wrote an article. Oh, if everything go per no. No, no. Laurie Market was damn near a throw in to that trade. Let's make this <laughs> money match real quick. They, same thing with Julius Randle. Same thing with Julius Randle. Okay. Yeah. Same okay. thing with Julius Randle. Get your ass, boy. Mr. Beyblade. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I had saw I saw that TikTok on my feed. That that nickname is so bad. It is. Did you Bay- know what a Beyblade was? Yeah, I, knew what it was. Was. I would have never thought that that was a Julius Randle's nickname. I didn't know though. that that was a real name of what that is, you know. Beyblades are currently hot. Trending I never upper. got into them. For real? On my For You page, brother. Br- brother? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I would say buddy and brother to put, put it together. Uh, <laughs> on the For You page. They have, like, real tournaments. Why? What do you mean why? It's a hobby for people. I guess. It's just what people be doing. Remember when we used to Real tech men decks? play Yu-Gi-Oh. Hell yeah. Tech decks used to be our hobby. Yes, tech decks. I remember we used to bring them to school. Yeah, we used to be playing in your basement with them. I was kind of a snob. Mike had like the Mike had like ramps and shit. We used to go in his basement and play with him. I was a snob. With I that. just love. I ain't had tech decks. I, I just had, love I the time that we in. Oh, you had the wood. Yeah, I, I actually just bought my cousin some ones. for Christmas. Tech decks. I'm, I'm I just, put them in his, his stocking. I'm That's just on my phone, just like looking for any type of trade, like nugget. Just, just yeah. like hoping every time my phone go off, I'm just hoping it's something. We should get one trade a day until True. this deadline. That would be great. Like 23 days But I feel like at that point, deadline. you're just getting a bunch of just weird, random stuff. That's I'll okay. Pay. I'll pay. Like That's the okay. Mike Muscala and them going to D- Mike Muscala and Gallinari going to Detroit. Detroit look good, like, don't they? <laughs> they've been in some games. They ain't won them. But they've been in some games. Well, they did win go- one. They did win one. The night they, of the they trade. Beat, that veteran leadership helped. They beat the Wizards. They beat the Wizards. <laughs> the, the team that didn't want to be that <laughs> yeah. team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. A little, a little change they of scenery. They've definitely been hanging in there, though. Yeah. Trying to keep it close. Ale- yeah, no, that's Alec Burks. Yep. They trying to get that trade value. He was shooting 35% from the field. You know the crazy thing about D'Angelo Russell? <laughs> <laughs> he can't find a home. Yeah. He can't. He's he's good enough to make enough money that's tradable every year. <laughs> like that's <laughs> that's who D'Angelo Russell is. I feel like we've Lakers, seen a lot of people that's, Brooklyn, that got traded last year. Golden like Sadiq State. Bay is now on a move after he just recently got traded. Yeah. Like I don't know, guys. But Sadiq Bay is not D'Angelo. No, Russell. he's not. But so. like some guys just don't stick. I feel D- like. Sadiq Bay is the type of player I would expect to be moved all the time. He's a three and D pro- prototypical guy who can knock down shots <laughs> ahead. Say he's. A- <laughs> His value just always going to be there because the player yeah. he is. Somebody yeah. going to try to pick that him up. That mode of player is always – if I'm an agent, I'm telling – if I have a client that that's mode, I'm telling them, hey, bro, don't ever get comfortable in your career <laughs> because you're always going to be mo- – every competitive team is going to want you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like – but D'Angelo Russell is not that – he's not a 3 and D guy. Yeah. But he also hasn't shown enough – Consistency is to where somebody is committing. Like we, he's I thought a we were really getting him coming into the season being Derek White. Yeah, the fact that he he talked he talked about it so passionately. Like that's being Derek like. White is a lot. Somebody turn like turn it up defensively just like that and yeah. Wiggins. D- D- Derek Derek White is it's it's a lot harder. At least he had tools. Wiggins Deandre had Russell tools. is just it's like, harder. You got the feel. It's, that he it's harder being D- uh, Derek White than they think than yeah. he thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Derek White didn't just wake up. Derek White. <laughs> <laughs> I understood I mean, it though. He tried to buy into a thing, but Derek White can shoot. He has feel for the game. He can defend. And his screen <clears throat> mobility is crazy. Yes, yes, Derek. Yes. Who the, who he be watching that? hoops. I, I watch. Do he watch or is he just saying? No, something like, hurt? oh, I don't. I'll know. really be looking at certain plays like, man, he's just getting stuck on that screen, like, like Dame and Beasley. Don't numb the hand. <laughs> like when I'm watching them, like, man, oh, I thought some, y'all was about to do the they, thing. They screen mobility is. Can terrible. we do it? Oh. Uh, yeah, that, that, there that, we that, go. That, that. 
No, but you're right. He's what one you of the best, when you, he's best when you, in the league. Apple. Oh. The big ass double ch- triple you. cheeseburger. Thank oh. you. <laughs> Talking about an apple. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite vegetable? Broccoli. Didn't we get we got asked this yesterday? He wasn't there. Yeah. yeah. I was eating broccoli yesterday. Broccoli is me too. Broccoli <laughs> is bro. I green beans. It's very close, but green beans. I, I like green beans when they like sauteed steamed. and shit. Yeah, and with the, with the uh, like smoked meat and stuff. Like when uh, mama make lose, them. You lose. He those. got some. Like, I feel you though. You those are like the best. My dietitian said whatever you need to do to get the vegetables, do it. If that means smothering them in something else, get the vegetables in. Oh, yeah. fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> cheddar cheese, a pound of cheddar cheese. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I like green beans. It's kind of body stuff with a little butter. A little saute, you know what I'm saying? Green beans ain't bad, but uh, mm. I think broccoli is always like my number one. It's versatile. versatile. It's I so like versatile. broccoli florets though. I like. Yeah. I love some steamed carrots too. I mm. love carrots. I love. You, guess, you carrots. ever make some honey glazed with carrots? The gla- mm. Oh, can tri- that, that's what mama's got to make. Do this like a week ago I, I can't make that. My mama no, got a glazed carrots. About it. I don't think I've ever had honey glazed carrots. Oh, oh. that's so surprising. Oh. Big fella like you, I thought you probably oh. knock knock a bat bat to them off the top. Hey, man. Like that, Derek. Like, like that? Like that, Derek. I've never even considered glazing Bro, me and Avery carrots. get down on some, some glazed carrots. What say? And the gasoline. <laughs> that's what that is, boy. That's fire. Yeah. yeah. But that's something I would never try to make. I got moms make that. Moms I found a TikTok that. recipe. I can send it to you. Hmm? Now, honey glazed biscuits? Oh. See, that's not or, a vegetable no more. Or, uh, <laughs> or like honey, to... <laughs> honey glazed uh, cornbread? Uh, Still not a vegetable. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> He's that's... like, I'm going to find one. I'm going to find a vegetable. <laughs> I love honey glazes. Not on that vegetable. Lettuce on that burger. Honey glazed ham? <laughs> <laughs> Got to get lettuce on your burger. My doctor, my doctor told me the same thing, KB. That's why I get lettuce on the burgers now. <laughs> that's why it's so funny that our homie Kai remember, had put in the Snapchat. He said, make sure y'all get y'all daily fruit in. He just got a big thing of, like, just no, diced pineapple. He had a can. Pineapple. Can. can diced pineapple. Like, damn, bro, everything you eat is processed. <laughs> and we ain't even the fruit. And we know this is the first fruit he had in a minute. Because he ain't damn. never showcased that he and I, eat a fruit. I feel like I eat a lot of processed food, too, which I got to bring down some more. But I, when I eat fruit, I want, this, I want it fresh. Yeah, yeah it's, it's picked. I go to the market. Oh, man, bro. Uh, we, was Kyron there when we asked about vegetables? I don't think he was. No, we he need wasn't. to ask Kyron his favorite vegetable and see how long it takes him to answer. He could say, mm-hmm. Shorty. Shorty, a vegetable shorty? <laughs> Is that worse than our homie John, though? What's John be up to? John, John said like he wa- don't like how water tastes. John don't tastes. like water. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I don't like water. It's nasty. <laughs> what? He's 28 years old talking about, I don't like how water man, tastes. Man, ain't... When you first wake up, uh, mouth Ooh. dry, you get that water. Yeah, water yeah. That's when it's the best. When you've been outside playing all day as a kid. Been outside playing and it's hot. Yeah. No, nah, okay, any I'm glad water. You said as a kid, because he making a signal like he did that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when we was outside throwing the, uh, when we was playing catch with the baseball, best believe I needed some water. True. Water was hitting True. right after Mike, that. We went and fucking got smoothies. We did. Yeah, oh, we, we did. did. <laughs> we did. We did. We did. We did. <laughs> I had That's a lot of the car. hitting on a hot day. For real. I, I actually forgot that it exists. I might have to pull up, Phil. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, nah, man, nah. I gotta, he got to go to the other place by me. Y'all know John's vegan with the now, right? Remember yeah, I told my, you? Yes. My girlfriend That's where he need to go for the those smoothies. smoothies is not he- I don't know if those are healthy either, but the one they the, not, they no, not, they yeah. full of sugar, yeah. <laughs> they full of sugar. Yeah, because the place, man, you go to, you can get healthy ones, but they also got the full yeah. of sugar ones too. Yeah. Did y'all hear me? He's talking about tropical smoothie. Yeah, tropical smoothie. They're they're everywhere, Mike. They're everywhere. What happened? Um, Tropical smoothie. John is vegan now. Yeah, is he? He? I know he's, he's a fake. He's official vegan. I knew now. he would get there because his girl is. Yeah, uh-huh. he's an official, he official wa- vegan. Angie told me that they were watching some show. Yeah, and like it disgusted him. Yep. And I said I will never watch that show. It all, <laughs> but no, I mean I've seen those type of shows when I was in high school. It always disgusts you for the first week, but then you go back home and you see JJ's you know fish. He and was very close to veganism. Bef- is that is it before? He was a again, fake his girlfriend vegan. Is a vegan. He was fake vegan. Bro. Yeah, but but now he's like in it. Because okay. what they were saying is that his his girlfriend used to make basically two dinners every night. Yeah. She would make one for herself and then one for him with meat. But now she's just making one dinner. And nice. Shout out to John, man. Mm-hmm. That's two of our homies that are complete vegans. It's just tough for me to. I just don't. My palate ain't. I love large meat enough. too much. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't I mind. I wouldn't mind way. it. But like when I saw what Mike was eating at your wedding. For the vegan replacement, never. <laughs> Talking about some barbecue <laughs> broccoli wings. Yeah, I'm cool. Oh, that's what it was? No, no. no it was, it was, it was, it was, it it was a bunch of shit on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> it was like corn, lettuce, spinach, rice. Like, just a yeah. bunch of shit that just ain't meat. And I'm like, I can't do that, bro. No, I, I agree completely. Like, the idea of being a vegan sounds so, so But great. I don't eat enough stuff to be able Same. to cut out this whole group of things. Yeah. Same. 
And I've tried vegan food, and some of it. I'm not a big. Some of you can get away with. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big meat guy to be. I love chicken. That's really pretty much it. <laughs> I'm not big. Chicken, is, meat. chicken is top tier. Yeah, but I just love. You can do so many things with chicken. chicken. Yeah. But like, I don't sit around something. Like you eat a lot of meat that I'm just like. I'm cool. Like brisket, I'm not going on baseball Ooh, game. Oh, you missing out. Brisket, Ooh, I'm good. A good brisket, brisket, boy. I'm good. A good brisket. I'm thinking about going to Texas just to try to try I'm, to get some I'm, real I'm brisket. Cool. I'm good. <laughs> you know, you know what I thought about when he was like just too much on it? Remember we we went to like Wendy's or he was getting Wendy's and he got the burger with the mozzarella sticks on it. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was a poor review. I would got the burger. I've never on ordered it. that did on my own. Did you eat that? Or I mean, you tasted it, but did you eat it? He ate that shit. I think I. I think I ate it today, yeah. but I haven't gotten it again. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it was a burger I would I get w- again. How many calories was in that? Mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks are just about the unhealthiest but you thing know, you can do. You know, you, he's into That's that type of shit. fried cheese. <laughs> when we went to Fat Sal's oh, yeah, in California, crazy... his sandwich. Has Mike, so much stuff on it? This is just like a regular sandwich place, but it, it's, it's decent. I had a barbecue chicken with provolone cheese. His shit had... Mozzarella cheese sticks, French fries, chicken tenders, chicken tenders. Oh, bro, that sounds turkey, disgusting. Turkey, salami, and shit. Like, Beef. That it was, sounds. It was. Awful, it was bro. so much stuff on it. <laughs> Marinara sauce. Yeah. Oh, so I really wild. think he could. He Did could you just knock say down. You said that's the one. He that was, was trying too much. to eat it, but he was like, it's too. Much. He can knock I, down I, I, a gym shoe. Couldn't taste anything. It was too much. Taste, right? You know how we be talking about a gym shoe? It's got everything. Yes. On it. He can yes. knock one of those down. Yeah. You. You. I feel like I'm the only Chicagoan who hasn't had a gym shoe. I haven't had. I haven't had a gym. I would never eat a gym shoe. Yeah. I've never had one. Don't don't disrespect my taste buds like that. It's not. It's not that. I know it's a Chicago thing, but it's not that much of a Chicago. You know the the trend that I hate. That I've seen people do is when they take the, sa- the the sandwich, they chop everything up and they just throw it on the bread. Y'all have seen that? I've never uh, seen that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You seen that? They they <laughs> they'll take with that whatever you're gonna put on the sandwich. So you got the, the the meat, the cheese, the lettuce, some sauce or whatever. They put it all there and then they just chop it up. And then no, not a chopped cheese. See, they I can eat. I can eat something that. similar where really, like it's like just one full consistency that you put on the burger or on the sandwich. Yeah, I guess. It's, it's imagine if you got a turkey sandwich. Mm-hmm. On your turkey sandwich, you get lettuce, tomato, pickles, mayo. mayo. Right, and you put that on there. Oh, you got the bread to the side. You chop all that up and put it in one thing, mm-hmm. and then just put it. In. I'm like, no, what the, I couldn't what the do hell that. Is First that? of all, I, I'm such a texture person right, when I eat too. that is just like that's already gonna throw me off. What's your least favorite texture? Mushrooms, like slimy yeah, mushrooms. I can see that. The slimy. I like mushrooms, stuff. but yeah, a wrong consistency is a little weird. I hate the, the vegetables that when you bite into it, sometimes your teeth squeak a little bit. Like what? Oh, like a one? like a green bean. Like a green bean. Ah, uh, yeah, that, I know what you're talking like about. Like that that noise I, in my head. Is I got just shit like that. It don't apply to that, but I, 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 I understand that. I Chitlins understand is that. something else. I would I would never. <laughs> a see, Chitlin would never. Up all the a Chitlin would never even come in my house. No. Like Nana used to make them Chitlins, boy. I used to wake up like, oh my. God, not again. And it wasn't I even can a never holiday. Eat nobody who the hell is eating it on our family? Nana. Just her? I don't, actually, I don't know who else uh, is making that's it. That's disgusting. Oh, eating it. My mom hasn't made chillings in years. You know what? No, speaking that's of chillings, just you like no smelly food but that blew me yesterday. No <laughs> Boy, I was watching the game. I got up. I went to the kitchen. I was, I was like, what's that smell? Elena was reheating some crab legs up, bro. Oh, she crazy. In a <laughs> microwave? So, I, I think so, bro. Oh. I don't know. But I just know I immediately... <laughs> I was like, bro, there's no way. I was like, you're going to have to eat that in the front room. <laughs> she was like, oh, okay. In the front room? His whole house is the front it's room. The front <laughs> room. I mean, what you mean? I got my bedroom. Oh, okay. But I didn't want my bedroom to be smelling like, just like, it, it wasn't even like it was bad. I'm trying to think of what consistency I don't like. I, I don't eat mushrooms, so. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, that's a good question. I went to Trader Joe's to get those things yesterday. Oh, you did? I bought like six boxes, bro. I, I refuse to let them How go out of left? stock Because you specifically told I, I them left, not to buy I left oh. some. I didn't eat, because I, I know, again, they haven't been that a season for some time. That shit's that damn good. But they, as a breakfast, quick breakfast, a minute and a half? Come on, bro. That's I had a, that this morning. Yes, I had them this morning. Yesterday, I bought the box of breakfast croissant sandwiches, and that was my breakfast. No, are those pancakes, for dairy-free pancakes, they don't taste like they're dairy-free pancakes. Yep. So what you do, like, in the microwave? Mm-hmm. I'll put mine in the oven. You're smarter than I am. They probably taste better. Yeah, but, yeah, I, but yeah, for the time, definitely. minute and a half, yeah. three pancakes. Microwaveable pancakes is a hit. It's fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's also fast. bought a, um, a rack of lamb chops. From there? Yes. They had a rack of lamb? Yes. How was the egg roll? I didn't see them. I haven't had them yet. Um, was it already like marinated and seasoned? Nope. Uh, nope. Got to do all that much? Right? Yes, I am. Because they oh. do have meat there that is already marinated and seasoned. Right. And I, I was looking at those out how to make the per- how to make I perfected my chicken breast yesterday. Mm. I got this grill that can char. Okay. But I'm, I've am i been trying to figure out how the hell do I get it char? 
because the chicken is just grilled. But I want it. I want it. It's like a, a char that I'm looking for. So what I did yesterday was, because the last time I cooked my chicken, I realized that when I made when I cooked the bell peppers, it gave the bell peppers kind of burnt. Not burnt, but it kind of burned enough to give it a char. On the iron. On the, yeah, on, on the, the iron. Yeah, yeah. So I cook those first, and it makes the pan get the char, and then I cook the chicken second, and I got that char. So I'm like, okay. I fucking mastered it. Let's get it, man. Because mm. it's been, <laughs> the chicken is good. I like grilled yeah. chicken, but I like char grilled chicken. That's my well, favorite type of chicken. Well, it's not burnt, but it's got that little, like, yes. I know what you're talking about. I used about. to go buy chicken and cook it on a grill. I, yeah. I can't wait to get a grill again, bro. Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah, that, exactly. I'm not cooking it on a grill. But I have this pan that's like a cast. I think even without just chicken in general, I I go for that like a little, not burnt, but that little like. It's char. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I usually go for that when exactly. I usually cook in the first place. Or like that yeah. slight crunch of the skin. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. If it has a skin. Breast, tip, breast typically don't have skin. Right, exactly. But yeah, you, you I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. It's, that, it's literally that char. Yep. What's your favorite seasoning for chicken? Let's say for chicken specifically. Uh, it's, it's, uh, season like, like like the combination or like just one specific uh, one? up to you. Just um, usually going salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. Then I'll probably go depending on how I'm feeling, lemon pepper. Oh, or I can go. That's the answer. Or I can go with some adobo mm-hmm. and some different. Form I, of so adobo. I that's what you've been all your everything. shit. We got a lot oh, of adobo. See, that's one I need to get into. Adobo. adobo? I don't do it's adobo. Just, it's, like, it's, it's got like a little kick, like, right? It's like no, it chicken, doesn't. isn't it? It doesn't have a little kick. It's like a chicken. Maybe I'm thinking something else. I don't do adobo, but I do sazon. Oh, sazon. So I do salt, pepper. I know I do pepper. No, 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 no. I do onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. Depending on how I'm paprika feeling, I might do it, smoked paprika. Paprika is definitely needed. Then I throw the sazon on. Then I throw the pepper on. I thought okay. you was going to say that you do the paprika. Oh, I, I, I throw paprika in there sometimes, too. Uh, or if you want a little heat, maybe like some little chili powder. Yeah. yeah. I'll be putting uh, Slap Your Mama on it. Slap Your Mama is That's a, a hit. The golden season. I haven't had Slap Your Mama. It's yeah, just Slap like a Cajun really seasoning. Good. Yeah, Slap Your Mama is really good. Is it, is it good enough to exist on its own? Like if that's yeah. the only yeah, yeah. I, yeah, put, yeah, I put it, it on a lot of stuff. It is. Okay. Oh, okay. I that's even how... like put it in my eggs a little bit. Who, yeah. Who's your favorite brand of seasoning? Miss Mrs. Salt. I love I love. Oh, Lari's. Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash. I'm still a Larry's guy. Or McCormick. McCormick. McCormick, McCormick is, is but incredible. You know that a lot of that stuff is just too salty. It do. Yeah. Miss Dash is salt free. Oh, it All is? the flavor. Okay. Salt that's, free. That's what's up. That's good to know because I don't. I'm very cognitive of making sure how much I put on there because yeah, yeah, I don't want to. I be thinking about family history. Like we have, like both of my parents have hypertension. Right. My uncle yep. passed away from it. Mm-hmm. So like I think about that stuff all the time. Yeah. So if I can do whatever I can to keep my exactly. pressure low, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah. And part of that is Miss Dash. You know what else you gotta do? We gotta work out more. Yeah. We yeah. gotta get active, fellas. Yep. We don't hoop no more. Uh huh. We have a gym. It's been <sighs> almost a month, and I it's ain't just seen been nobody so, it's in just the been gym. It's just been too cold. I'm, I'm telling you, if it was not Facts cold, though. if it was not cold, I would have been in there. It's just too damn cold. Working out in the winter kind of sucks. It's sometimes. it really I, does. I used to do it, but it it do suck. It's a hibernation season. Yeah, just want to chill. This the this the in the crib. I gotta start just making sure, man. Even I, I always try to hit a home run. Sometimes you gotta get a single. Just, no, just drop no, because when y'all was at my house, you was making fun of my my uh my yeah, dumb because your shit is crazy. <laughs> they were fifteen pounders. Yeah, see, my shit is thirty. Well, I, I'm five seven one thirty. <laughs> I, I I feel you. My shit is adjustable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I can add it, man. Okay, 15 okay. pounds. Yeah. Right and my shit ain't never had no 15. No, I'll take that back. I'll take that back. It's very... I, also, I use it for my shoulders, though. My so biggest thing, the hardest thing, and maybe you can't relate because you're the strong, strongest dude up here. I can't curl no big shit. Uh, when I be doing my 30s, you're not I, supposed you know to curl I mean, big shit. Yeah, that's when I had my little tens on there, and I'd be like, okay, cool. But, bro, that <laughs> big shit, I cannot do it, bro. Yeah. You ain't curling tens. No, I'm usually like the 20, 25s. I'm not doing 25s. I'm doing tens. Are you working at 25? You just get in the gym. I'm, I'm at 25. I could usually start at like 25. See, yeah. I could probably work up It'll to 35. It'll take everything in me. I'll burn myself out, so yeah. I just got to hit my team. I just use those 15s for my shoulder press exercises. Oh, yeah. Like lateral raises and yeah. stuff? Uh-huh. Yeah. Anything over that, I'm going to no, mess myself up No, you shouldn't go heavy with lateral raises. Yeah. Because like you're not supposed to go like, you're not you supposed to use momentum. You're going to mess something up. You're yeah. not supposed to use momentum. You're supposed to literally like feel it. Yep. If you start using momentum on any lift, then you're going to let my shoulders pop. I think that was probably like one of the most helpful things like somebody told me while i was working out just like the goal is not to go as fast as you can it's yeah. just like you want to feel that burn feel the so you do go a little bit slow to like you know fully get the those the are exercise. the best workouts too mm-hmm. i remember we was on tour what was we at and i was working out in some in somebody in the hotel gym and they had that mm, oh i was what uh, that what motherfucker there that? i wish i had that the cable, in my house. The cable machine oh man you gonna feel everything in the whole arm is that the same place is that houston no i, I didn't work out okay. in houston 
Wait, or did I work out here? Is that the place we went to Awa's room with the camera and he w- he was on the phone? That was Philadelphia. Oh, so maybe was it Philly? Was it Philly? Because I went into the workout room or somebody. I think it was you. I don't know if you stayed there. I remember out, one time we, we walked the in there for like a while like, or something. I cannot remember. But I remember one time in the oh, hotel and it was, it was early, bro. It was. it was super early and I was I don't even know like why I walked out my room, but I remember I did. I see Josh full of drenched and sweat. He just getting out the workout room. Yeah. I'm damn Josh. Josh didn't play, boy. <laughs> he Josh always got that workout. You out. have to be like that because yeah. there's been certain points when I was doing something and we would have to go somewhere and then it knocked me out. Whether it's working out, whether it's eating a certain way, bro. If you eating good and we got to go somewhere on tour, all star, it's uh, over. Uh, it's man, right. it's over. Yeah. You got into a new city. You want to try their food. They got something you never seen. Come on, man. You going to Houston? You think you're not going to get Whataburger? Yeah. The discipline those players be having to to not, I'm sure they probably do still. Yeah, shit they, on the they, they, and stuff, they definitely dibble and dabble. Yeah, it's so hard to be healthy when you're on the road. It's just so serious. hard, bro. Where you going? So luckily for them, they just got professional chefs. Yeah, true. They probably have travel like with them and stuff. Form and all team, that. team chef and everything. So, um, but no, if it, I could have a. If that's one thing I could ever invest in as a chef. I would love Bro, to. Bro, two like, things right, I want. Right hand to God, we're working. I'm working on that Two right things now. I want, oh, wow. a driver yeah. and I want a chef. I don't need a driver. I, I want I a driver. I enjoy driving. I want a driver. Unless it's like I like sleep. driving. Yeah. I want a driver for sure. It's like I enjoy just getting in my car and going where I want to go. Chefs yeah, because are you're so going. Yeah. You know, I don't want a driver to go up the street to Target. But when we got to go downtown, I got to go somewhere at 8 o'clock in the morning. I gotta oh, that's, go why to, that's when we hit that Uber. We got to go. Exactly. We got to go to the airport. Hey, uh. Come come pick me up, bro. Yeah. Now the the <laughs> chef thing is so expensive. That's the problem. It's yeah. it's Chefs ridiculous. If it's, I had a chef, I'll be the happy because I'm so picky. I have somebody that can just work around my pickiness. Yeah, bro. I just love chicken wraps. Can you just make me one? For yeah. Me? But no, Lunch. I think that the chef benefit is the opposite of that. Where the chef being a professional, like some of the times I try new food, but it don't hit because I don't know what the fuck yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. If a chef is doing that, the professional is like. Oh, you don't like this? Let me. Let, you don't like Brussels sprouts? Let me make you some yeah, Brussels sprouts. I can sprouts. make you some Brussels sprouts how they Exactly. Did. But so then it, you, hopefully it opens up your palate Hopefully more. it will. But at the same time, I think certain things you don't like, you just don't like. I mean, I'm I don't not, like, I'm, I'm not th- I haven't cut out anything. KB, I don't diet. like onions. There's no I chef that's going to make me make a, like onions. Onion. It's just like onions is one of those I things. I like grilled onions. I, I, I just don't like it, bro. I'm just good on it. I'm I'm the only time I eat an onion is inside of onion ring. Which is... Interesting. That's very interesting because, like, you can still taste the onion. Yeah, you 100%. still can. But it's like what Mike said, that grilled. So it's kind of just like a. It's fried. They're kind of. No, he, probably, he just probably tastes more inside, so the bread. So the bread falls off, you don't eat the onion. Because, like, sometimes when you eat the onion ring, you like, could. You I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. the onion come but out. I'm sti- but it's still, I'm e- still eating it together. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you know it falls out, me? I just kind of like. That tells me that you are that you can't eat onion. Like, no, like no, if no, it's no, made properly, I think your opinion would change. That got onions in it? No, for sure. Yeah, for sure. so it's like, I know I'm Hell, you eating. Got you probably don't like raw onions. Exactly. He also probably doesn't like I don't like raw onions. onions. There you go. I love I don't raw, like raw But onions. have you had grilled onions? He yeah, because it's, too, yeah. yeah. But I don't I don't like it. Because the things that you put onions on, I don't want it on. I don't want onions on my sandwich. I don't want onions on my burger. Um, but even so at like, that, yeah, I like grilled onion, but it's I don't like excess of it. Yeah. Onions is not something I could have. Like, extra onion is just like, I can't do that. That's I'm why I feel like when it's in the onion, onion ring, it feels like the, fir- the perfect place for me to where I can enjoy it. I used it. to have people going to Portillo's and get onions on their Italian beefs. See, I would never do <laughs> I that. I wouldn't do that. That sounds like the dumbest thing in the world. Man, man, man. man. You what, a, what a waste. Yeah, what the <laughs> hell? What a waste of a beef. <laughs> what the hell? Onions? That's like putting Is it because of the beef. texture? Like I, it, cha- I, it adds I, a change to the texture? And taste. They 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 was they getting a dip to? I don't know. No, I hope not because don't put no onions in that dip that you're going to dip my beef in. No, after. they would dip to be first and then put the onions. Okay. In. Yeah. Interesting. They they couldn't have they couldn't have been connoisseurs. You're making me want to go get a beef. They couldn't have been connoisseurs. <laughs> beef. It, only thing they're going to be. I would try that. I would try it. Oh, I'm I'm glad you're op- open minded. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't I would at least try, try that it shit. To see what's Even up. if it was for free, I wouldn't try that shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm not afraid to try it, but it's not something I would get. For free, is rather give me I a good combo. For real. No. You eat a pile of dog shit because it's for free? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Derek. <laughs> oh, free? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Corn. So, so, so you, you don't have anything that you just like, I don't like. Escargot. Would you eat escargot? What's that? Is that like um, snails? I actually don't really fuck with snails. <laughs> okay. No, yeah. like Or like oysters. I don't really like oysters. The, that's one of those things texture, that texture, slimy, the slimy, texture yes. of oysters don't sit See, with See, I've me. never had it. And they a, also don't taste good. I don't understand mm. the hype behind it. Yeah, sli- with the hot sauce? 
I don't yeah, want I don't, nothing. I, I got to slurp like that. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, like no, I don't. I don't care to do that. Let's wrap this up. Let's <laughs> please wrap send this it. Up. Send it to Let's the. Send it to up. at KOT for Q on Twitter. I need that clip, please. We did not have to do that. Uh, I oh, I cannot wait to use that, bro. Wow, Ooh. thank you. Uh, thank y'all so much for listening or watching this episode of through the, of numbers on the board. It um, I knew it was gonna happen. It's eventually. like saying 2023. Yeah, I knew it was gonna happen eventually, <laughs> and we left that at 2023. Numbers on the board. Subscribe. Uh, five stars, all of the above, and we'll see you in a couple up, days. You can put it on the board, yes.